Okay, my gingerbread men are done. <laughs> Junior and your stupid friends, come downstairs and make the gingerbread house. Oh man, guys, I can't wait to make a house for the gingerbread men. I don't like that we call them gingerbread men. I think we should call them gingerbread they thems. Oh, dude, don't be political. It's Christmas. If we're gonna do this, make Santa Claus black. My pronouns are she them. Let me she them titties. All right, everyone, grab a gingerbread man to make a house for. I want the one furthest away from me. Well, then grab it. <gasps> what? Yeah! Jeffy, you're not supposed to bite its head off. Oh my god, you killed him! You murderer! Murderer? I didn't murder anybody. I just ate a cookie. Jeffy, you're not supposed to eat gingerbread men. They're real people. Well, I didn't know that. Hey there, I got a call from a gingerbread man saying one of them was murdered. Oh my god, he's missing his head. It's so barbaric. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. I didn't do anything. Order, 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 order. Order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy, who is being accused of eating a gingerbread man. It says here you beheaded him with your teeth. You are a monster. What do you have to say for yourself? I just ate the gingerbread man. I didn't know it was illegal. You didn't know cannibalism was illegal? It's a fucking cookie. It is not a cookie. It is a man. A gingerbread man. You're not supposed to eat gingerbread men. You're supposed to build them a nice little house and let them live happily ever after. Everybody knows this. We will now hear from a gingerbread man who witnessed this awful crime. Tell me, sir, what happened? Okay, I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. The one who lives on Drury Lane. Well, she's married to... The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! She's married to the Muffin Man? What does this have to do with the case? Tell me what happened to your brother. Eat me! What? No! No spitting in my courtroom. Just tell me what happened. He bit his head off! I've heard enough! Jeffy, this is not the first time I've seen you in my courtroom. You are a repeat offender and you need to learn how to be a good person. So I sentence you to be an elf in Santa's workshop for one day. An elf? Hey, Danny, I got arrested again. Jeffy, how many times are you gonna get arrested in your life? 17. Officer, what do you do this time? His worst crime yet. He bit the head off a gingerbread man. <gasps> Jeffy, how could you? How is that a crime? Well, gingerbread men are real people. They have rights. Don't you remember in the Constitution when they passed it to give the gingerbread men rights? They still can't compete in the Olympics, though. They run too fast. You know, run, run as fast as they can. You can't catch them. They're the gingerbread men. That does not make any sense. Cookies don't deserve rights. Whoa, okay. I didn't know we were living in the 1800s over here. Marvin, I I didn't know you were a foodist. Yeah, I bet you still eat Teddy Grahams even though they're endangered. You're only supposed to eat them during Teddy Graham season. So Jeffy's going to jail. Oh no, he's going somewhere much worse than jail. He's gonna go be an elf up in Santa's workshop. All the way up in the North Pole? Yeah, we gotta hop on like a 36 hour flight up there with a layover in Charlotte. God, I hate the Charlotte airport. My flight always gets canceled and I get put on standby and then I get seated next to some fat sack of shit with a breathing problem like, <gasps> like what, you didn't bring your CPAP machine? And they don't even have screens on the back of the seats anymore. No, you gotta watch the movie on your phone, but the Wi-Fi sucks dick, so the movie won't load, and the only movie they have is Meet Dave. God, I'm so tired of Meet Dave. I've met Dave. I did not like Dave. I am not a fan of Dave. I I'm sorry. I I'm just rambling. Come on, Jeffy. We gotta go. Wait, does anybody have a neck pillow? No. Okay. I guess I'll just suffer from spinal meningitis. Come on, Jeffy. All right, kid. Welcome to Santa's workshop. I'll be back to pick you up in a day, but if I find out you've been naughty, you're going straight to prison. Okay. Hey there, newbie. I'm the head elf around here. What's your name? Twinkle Toes. Hey, Twinkle Toes. My name is Pepper, and her name is Mint. Hi. And that's Orda. Hello. And she's Mint, and my name is Pepper, and over there is Rody. All of our names add up to a word, you get it? Yes. Okay, so we make all the toys for all the good little boys and girls, which is really ironic because I'm not allowed within a thousand feet of a playground. I'm a registered one of these. But that's okay, because this is pretty cool. He comes with a whole bunch of accessories. They should just put me in the box. Hey, Pepper, we're all out of the Mr. Potato Head pieces. All we have are the Mrs. Potato Head pieces. Fuck it, just put it in the box. Christmas is in a few weeks. Just make sure Santa doesn't find out. So what toys do I make? Well, your first job is to figure out where the hell the Incredible Hulk's head is. We lost it a few weeks ago, and we can't give it away looking like this. <gasps> 
I was the golden elves. Oh no, Santa's drunk again. We only have two weeks until Christmas. So are we on schedule? Uh, we're a little behind, Santa. Oh, that's okay. I, I don't care as long as the product looks good. L let's check out this Mr. Potato Head. Please don't. <laughs> What shit is this, huh? It's a Mrs. Potato Head in the Mr. Potato Head box. Oh, wow. Very creative. Way to use your brain. You know what? Let me see yours. Holy shit, he shot him. That's right. Santa's crazy. And Santa will blow out every single one of your brains if the next time I come here to check there's not Mr. Potato Head Pots in the Mr. Potato Head Box. And I swear to God, if someone doesn't find the head to the Incredible Hulk, Santa is gonna lose it. Now Santa is gonna go take a really big stinky dump. And when he gets back, one of his elves is gonna suck his candy cane. Yep. Well, let me go look, boys. You got this one, Pepper. I went crazy on it yesterday. Oh, man, I did it all last week. Well, newbie, looks like you're sucking Santa's candy cane. It's just a candy cane. It can't be that bad. Uh, it's actually stick. Oh, hell no! We gotta get out of here! We can't. This place is locked down tighter than the Pentagon. Well, there's gotta be some way to leave! The only way out is Santa's bag, but he'll know if you touch it and he'll kill you. Alright, well, if we can get out of here and make it to my house, you guys will be safe. Really? Yes. Okay, I'll show you Santa's bag. Okay, there's Santa's bag. If you get in, it'll take you anywhere you want to go. That's how he delivers presents so fast. All right, well, let's get out of here. We should get in one at a time. We don't want to get in all at once and fuse together. Hey, get away from my bag! You elves, get back over here! Somebody's gonna suck it! Oh no, Santa's coming! Quick, Twinkle Toes, get in the bag! Oh no, it's not working! Oh, I forgot it runs on Christmas spirit! Everybody start singing! No, there's not enough time! I'll stall Santa, I'll go crazy on it! Order now! Remember me forever, Pepper! He's so brave. Okay, we, we wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish- Looks like it's my turn! Kill me! <sighs> I hope Jeffy's making a bunch of toys for all the good boys and girls out there. Where, Jeffy, where'd you come from? The North Pole. Aren't you supposed to be working there in Santa's workshop? Yeah, but Santa Claus was going to make me suck his candy cane or he was going to shoot me in the head. What? Oh, that's not really Santa. That's his evil brother, Kringle. He just makes us call him Santa. So where's the real Santa? Oh, he's on vacation in the Bahamas. He only comes back to the North Pole on Christmas Eve to deliver presents. Kringle runs the North Pole the rest of the time, and he does terrible things. To us. So what's your name? My name is Pepper, and if my friends were here, it would be hilarious, but I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Except for maybe Orna. If I know him, he's going crazy on it. Well, you're safe here. Kringle will never find you. Oh no, he'll find me. He's got a tracker in my ass. I'm his best elf. He should be here any minute. Oh, oh no, that must be him. Please don't let him get me. Oh yeah, and since I'm in your house, I have to inform you that I'm a registered predator. But only for being on the side of a school during school hours on a kid. Okay, I'm gonna go answer the door. Don't worry about anything. Hello? What, Goodman? Hey, Marvin. Sorry, I thought you were gonna be Santa Claus. I, I, I'm not Santa Claus, but I have a big sack, and I sure ho ho hope you have your house payment. Oh no, I don't have my house payment. I mean, it's the holidays. Can you give me this month off? No, because I have six side bitches I have to buy presents for. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come in your house, and if I see one single Christmas present, I'm taking it. Because if you have money for presents, you have money to pay your bills. What the, uh, oh. Now where are those presents at? Daddy. What the fuck? Why is Pepper here? You know Pepper? Yeah, he's my 23-year-old degenerate son that I Disown because he decided to ruin his life by getting arrested for peeing on a school. On a kid. It was an accident. You just didn't see the kid or... It splashed. So he's your son? Not anymore! I disowned him! Can I come home? No! Go back to the North Pole and make toys or some shit! Marvin, why'd you invite me over here? I didn't. You came for my house payment. Well, you don't owe me one. You can just keep Pepper. I don't want to keep Pepper. Well, I'm leaving. No, Daddy. Don't call me that, you creepy fuck. Aww. <laughs> Oh no, he found me! There you are, Peppa! You're coming home with me! 
Somebody hide me. If any of you in a biz, I'll blow all your brains out. You can take them. Okay. No. I got a big old candy cane waiting for you at home, Pepper. Oh, okay. <laughs> No one feels bad about not helping him, right? No. Mm -mm. <sighs> Hold on, my phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin, I just want to let you know I'm on my way to the North Pole to get your son, but I got stuck in Charlotte again and my flight got canceled, God damn it! Marvin, Jeffy's gonna be late to school! Oh, Jeffy, get in here! <laughs> Daddy? Wait, Jeffy, you're gonna be late to school. What are you wearing? Well, first of all, Daddy, my name's not Jeffy, and it's Jeffy Koo, and this is my Dragon Ball outfit. Dragon Ball outfit? What's a Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball? Because I'm gonna be dragging my balls across your face. Wait, Jeffy, take that off. You're not wearing it at school. Aw, Marvin, let him wear it. Jeffy, I think orange is your color. Thanks, Mommy. Yeah, orange is his color. It's the color of the jumpsuit he's gonna be wearing in prison when he goes to prison for not being punished as a kid. Jeffy, take that off. No, Daddy, I'm not gonna take this off. You get to wear the same outfit all the time, and you don't even take a shower. I'm an adult. I can do whatever I want, Jeffy. You're not wearing that to school. Take it off. Daddy, you're not going to like what I'm going to do next. What are you doing? <laughs> See, you got Kai Blast and you didn't even realize. Take it off or you're grounded. You can't ground me, because if you ground me, then I'm going to Kamehame Akuna Matata you. Kame Akuna Matata! <laughs> Alright, Jeffy, just go to school. Alright. Oi, Kraus! Today, we're gonna be learning about the brain! Hey, Cody, your mom gave me brain last night. What? Ha! Good dude! Hey, Cody, what's your mom's favorite part of the brain? <sighs> what? The medulla omlong. <laughs> I've seen it, I've seen it! <laughs> no, you didn't. Alright, let's learn parts of the brain. The front of your brain is called the frontal lobe. The back of your brain is called the occipital lobe. And then right here in the middle, you have a hippocampus. Oh, <gasps> there's a campus full of hippos in my brain? No, idiot, that's just what it's called. Teacher, are there hippos in my brain? What's a hippocampus? The hippocampus is where your memories are stored. And a good way to remember that is if there was a hippo on campus, it would be very memorable. Oh. <laughs> you must not have a hippocampus, because you can't remember anything because you're an idiot. Call me an idiot one more time. And the amygdala is the part of your brain that controls your anger. So when you're really, really mad, it's your amygdala. Hey, idiot. Why are you getting so mad, idiot? Is your amygdala acting up? Jeffy, are you okay? Jesus Christ, Junior. Dude, his power level is over 9,000. 9,000? What power level? What are you talking about? How do you know his power level? Dude, you don't have a scouter? I never joined the Boy Scouts. Junior, he's going Super Saiyan. Super Satan? No, not Satan. Saiyan. What's he saying? Look at his hair, dude. It's blonde. Yeah. Yeah, the brighter his hair gets, the more powerful he becomes. Yeah, dude. I thought blondes were stupid. No, not if they're male. I'm so confused. Junior, we really just need to get out of here. Yeah, dude. Okay. Oh. Jeffy, you go Super Saiyan? Well, that's no match for my purple finger laser! <laughs> oh, you messed up now. <laughs> oh, Jeffy Cool. Very, very weak Kai Blast. Now prepare for the most powerful purple finger laser you've ever seen! Two in the pink! What in the speed? Oh yeah? Well watch this! Come on! need six more of these. Hey, Jeffy, how was school today? It was good, Daddy Gook. Wait, what is that? It's a dragon ball, and I just need six more balls. Right now, I only have one ball because I'm like Lance Armstrong. Ooh, Jeffy, earlier today, I found a ball just like that. Gimme see it. Here you go. <gasps> Gimme Gook. 
F yeah. All right, Daddy, now I got two Dragon Balls. Now I just need five more. Um, Jeffy, that's only four fingers. Oh, well, just imagine I have one more finger. That's how many more balls I need. I need five more Dragon Balls. Why do you need five more? Because once I get all seven Dragon Balls, I can summon the dragon and he'll grant me a wish. Do you get picked on at school acting like this? Yeah, but I kicked his ass! Jeffy! What, Jeffy, like, do you have friends acting like this? Marvin! I'm being serious, baby. He's acting weird. Dang, dang, don't you dare disrespect Dragon Ball Z! This is serious! I just want to make sure you're not getting bullied, you know? Dang, you're going to make me go Super Saiyan! I'll poop my pants, Daddy. Just don't hurt yourself, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. I'm going to go look for more Dragon Balls. I just hope this is a phase. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm, my enchiladas are almost done. I sense balls. Oh, there's two more Dragon Balls right there. Hey, you, give me your Dragon Ball. <gasps> no way, no way you can't have my Dragon Balls. I'll destroy the world before I let you have my Dragon Balls. Hand over your balls, or I'll make you hand them over. I'd like to see you try. All right, you asked for it the hard way. Come <gasps> Thought you were more powerful than me? Oh, just wait till you see my Gallic gun. It's not more powerful than when I go Super Saiyan. Nani? My nipples are so hard right now. Nipple beam. Nipple beam. That's impossible. Those balls are mine now. Marvin, what was all that noise? I don't know. Check it out, Danny. I got four Dragon Balls. I just need three more to summon the dragon. Jeffy, were you breaking stuff downstairs? No, don't worry about it, Daddy. You don't even understand Dragon Ball Z. But I'm gonna go look for the other three. <laughs> Come on, Ken, it's your turn. Come on, hurry up, just hit one. I smell balls. Oh, there they are. There's two more Dragon Balls right there. Hey, you, hand over your Dragon Balls. Oh, no, you don't. I don't give you consent to grab my balls. Well, they don't belong to you, so hand them over. Oh, you don't want to fight me. I'm too powerful. Not as powerful as me when I go Super Saiyan. Oh, you don't want to see my final form. I'm too hunky. I guess we'll see about that. <laughs> You done messed up now, boy! <laughs> Pathetic. Now I'll show you what true power looks like. <laughs> now you will experience the true power of the dark side. Unlimited power! <laughs> I, 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 I'm too weak. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm hunky as shit. You want to fight? Come on. <laughs> I don't even need to fight you. That's how lame you are. I can get my son to fight you. Jeffy Han, I choose you. Jeffy Han. But what the? Jeffy Han, use Thunderbolt. Jeffy Han. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how that goes. Let's grab these Dragon Balls. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six Dragon Balls. Oh, you found six? Don't you need one more to make a wish? Precisely, Daddy. I need one more Dragon Ball to make a wish to the dragon. What are you even going to wish for, Jeffy? You'll see. <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, we got a noise complaint from your neighbors. They said some nerds were fighting in here and yelling. Oh, that's just my son. He's going through a Dragon Ball Z phase. Whoa, no way. <laughs> Kami, Hami, Ha! Oh man, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I love it. Not you too. Oh yeah, I've been a fan ever since I was younger. It's great. My son won't stop talking about it. Well, there's a lot to talk about. Who's at the door, Daddy? Oh my God, no way. Where'd you get that outfit? Target. Oh hell yeah, I'm going there right after this. Jeffy, what will make you stop talking about Dragon Ball Z? I'm not going to stop talking about Dragon Ball Z until I collect all the Dragon Balls and so many dragons. Kid, you're not going to believe this, but I have a Dragon Ball. No way. Oh yeah, look, I confiscated it from this homeless guy that was trying to smoke it in a spoon. <gasps> Dang, that's the seven Dragon Ball. That's the last one I need to complete my ball sack. Wait, you have the other six Dragon Balls? Sure do. Oh my God, can I watch you summon the dragon? I don't even care about the witch. I just want to see the dragon. Sure, come on. Oh yes. I don't understand what's going on. All right, Jeffy, are you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, wait, someone explain what's going on. Once I put this Dragon Ball with the others, we can summon the dragon and he'll grant Jeffy one wish. Yeah, our balls have to touch. 
Uh, okay. All right, Jeffy. Are you ready to see the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? Yeah. <gasps> what, what, what's happening? The dragon's coming. Uh -oh. Wait, don't chew my ear. <sighs> Hi there. I'm Doofy the Dragon. Oh, everybody bow. Wait, wasn't he on Good Morning America? Shh. And I'm here to grant you one wish. Uh, Jeffy, what do you want to wish for? Um, I wish I had that kid's outfit. Wait, Bill. Oh, sick. Pew, pew, pew. Wait, you stole Jeffy's wish. Yeah, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, now we're definitely going to fight. Now I'm going to spirit bomb you. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. Not if I spirit bomb first. <sighs> Will Jeffy get revenge on Brooklyn Guy for stealing his wish? Does Brooklyn Guy have any powers whatsoever? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I can't believe summer break's over already. I know, dude. I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, come on, guys. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's school, and you can't spell school without cool and taking out the H, because otherwise it would just be cahool. Oh, yeah, and I guess you have to take out the S, too. But you can't spell school without the letters in cool. You can't spell your mom without fat. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't! What? No, 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 because the letters F, A, and T don't even show up in your mom, so that shows how much you guys know. This is why you have to go to school. Welcome back, class! Today is the first day of school, and to celebrate, you have a bunch of homework. We have to make up for all that time you had off during summer break. A bunch of homework? Come on, it's the first day of school! Teach, give us a break! Oh, come on, guys. We were just complaining we didn't do anything all summer, but now we have homework. Isn't that exciting? Yippee! Whoa! I don't want to hear any complaints, class. Two months of no school, you could have forgotten everything you learned last year. So this is going to help you remember. Come on, guys. He's right. Knowledge is power. Dude, flip this desk one more time, please. Hold on, guys. Look at the drawing I just did of the teacher. <laughs> no way, dude. Tiny wee wee. <laughs> That's messed up, Junior! Ooh, let me see, let me see. Pass it to Cody, pass it to Cody. Here, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Hey, Cody! What do you have on your desk? Show me! Uh, Junior, take your picture back! It's not my picture. Yeah, that's all you, bro. No, guys! Cody, show me that right now! Uh, no, no, nothing. It, 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 it's, it's a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog naked. I'm one of those weird kids. Cody, show me what you have on your desk right now! No, he has a really big dong. I don't think you really want to see Show me, Cody! <laughs> You have bunch of homework. I have tiny wee wee. I didn't do it. Junior drew it. Uh, I did not draw that. It was Cody. Yeah, Cody did it. Oh no, dude. I am going to tell the principal right now. Well, no, guys, tell the truth. What's wrong, Cody? Stop being a wimp. <laughs> it's the first day of school. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> All right, Cody. The principal is on his way, and I'm gonna show him this. <laughs> Is Joseph okay? Mr. Chu, why did you summon me here from my comfortable office? Cause the student over there in the glasses, his name is Cody, and he drew this. Let me get a peek. He drew this? He did. Cody, come here! <laughs> you drew this? No. Don't lie to me, boy! Don't lie to the principal. If you do, you're gonna be expelled. <laughs> okay, fine, I drew it. Do you know what I'm gonna do to you for drawing this? I'm gonna enter you to the International Drawing Competition! Wait, what? Yeah! This drawing is magnificent! It's the best we've ever seen! Mm hmm And we enter one student every year in the International Drawing Competition, but we lose. But you? You have a gift, boy! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I drew that drawing! Stop taking credit for other people's work! You didn't do this! Huh? You're suspended for lying! But you, you're a genius. Huh, I need you to bring that A-game tomorrow, because the competition's tomorrow, okay? But, but I didn't draw this. Stop being modest! Huh, I need you to bring that A-game. Chu, I think you found us a winner. I know. My eyes may be slant, but I know good talent when I see it. Mm -hmm. I'm out! Oh, great, Junior. Now I'm entered into some stupid drawing competition, and I don't even know how to draw. I know how to draw. It should be me in that competition. Well, that's what you get for lying, Junior. You should have fessed up in the beginning. Well, I thought I was going to get in trouble. I didn't know I was going to be entered into a competition. Well, seriously, Junior, what are we going to do? Because if I don't win this competition, I'm pretty sure Steinbeck will literally kill me. I mean, just look what he did to Joseph. 
Yeah, I think Joseph's gonna be out for the whole video. Uh, Penelope, can you come back to my house and help me and Cody think of a plan? Ugh, okay! <sighs> All right, Cody, what's the plan? Well, I suck at drawing, so I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to draw. Aw, don't say that, Cody. I'm sure you're decent at drawing. <laughs> no, no, I'm terrible. Come on, Cody, show us how you can draw. Show us something. Okay, um... Draw a cat. But a cat, that's that's the one that meows, right? Yeah, draw it. Um, okay, so it's that. What the, the hell? This, this, that's the tail there. What? I got four legs, so that's what those are. And then, uh, it's got two ears, right? Two and then some whiskers, and then there's a little eye. There you go, that's a cat. You suck at drawing, Cody! Yeah, that's horrible, Cody! Oh yeah, it's not like I just told you that. Okay, no, no, there's no way you can draw in this competition. You're gonna lose! I know. So, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Wait, Junior, you're really good at drawing, right? Uh, it's not like they were just Googling over my drawing saying it was amazing and entered him in a competition. Yeah, I'm good at drawing. Okay, so what if you were to draw for Cody in the competition? How is that even gonna work, Penelope? They're gonna see him drawing. Yeah, like, that doesn't make it- oh, I got an idea! Cody, how many of those ugly blue shirts do you have? I have a whole closet full. Okay, grab me one. Oh, okay. Okay, Junior, I brought you two shirts, and I don't think they look ugly. In fact, I think I look pretty spiffy. What was your idea with the shirts? Me, 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 me. Why did you invite me? Just wait and see what my idea is. Ugh. All right, Cody, what do you think? Junior, this is not gonna work. How is it not gonna work? I'm inside your shirt, my hand's sticking out, I can draw for you, it's gonna work. They're definitely gonna see you sticking out of my back, and your legs are very obvious. Look, they're just gonna think you have back problems, or like you have a boil on your back. Ugh, Junior, I feel so constricted. I can't even reach my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Junior, this is the dumbest idea you've ever had. You look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Ah, get wrecked, Cody. Junior, Junior, she was insulting you. Junior, why don't you just teach Cody how to draw? Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, Junior. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just teach you. I can't even breathe. Yeah, let me get out of here. I'll teach you how to draw. <sighs> All right, Cody, are you ready to learn how to draw like a pro? Please, because I, I need help. Because you're going to learn how to draw a cat for real, not whatever the hell this thing is. Yeah, I hope not. Okay, so start off with a medium circle. Um. Man, that's that's pretty big. Uh, draw another medium circle right next to it. Uh, over here? Okay. Uh. Okay, now put dots in between each one. Wait, are you making me draw boobies? What? No, no, these are not boobies. Okay, so now I want you to draw the nose. So you draw like an upside down three-leaf clover. What? An upside down three-leaf clover, like between the, 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 the booby things. What, like, like? Yes, just, yeah, like that? just like that. Now, now draw a round W connecting to the nose. A round, like, like that? Yeah, like that, like that, okay. Now put dots in between the W. Um, like. Just yeah, dots all over it. Oh, okay. Just a lot of dots. Mm -hmm. Get a lot of dots. Okay. Now put whiskers. I'll do lines coming out each side. What, um, like, uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now do like a little, like, scribbly, like, like, round, like, like, scribbly under circle, like, half circle underneath that for the mouth. Wait, so, like, it, kinda. No, 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 scribble all the way around it. Uh, scribble all the way around. Doing that. Um, yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. Now, now give it two triangle ears. Um, how's that? Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Eh, boom! Isn't that a cat? I mean, it's better than what I did. See, look, you're getting better. So now if we just do this all night, you'll eventually draw a professional-looking cat. I don't think this is going to work, Junior. I don't think I'm going to get any better. Oh, no, okay, how about this? During the drawing competition, you have a walkie-talkie earpiece in your ear, and I'll have a walkie-talkie, and I'll tell you exactly how to draw it. What, you telling me what to draw isn't going to help. It's still going to suck. Well, I just told you how to draw this, and look, that cat looks a lot better than whatever that thing is. I, I mean, I'm not going to win a competition with this. Oh, you know what, Cody? You suck at drawing. How about that? You what? just suck, and then we're gonna, we're gonna lose. Well, I know. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Wait, I got an idea. What if you call the principal and say that you broke both your hands and you can't draw tomorrow? Wait, yeah, th th that actually could work. Cause if my hands are broken, I can't draw. Yeah, so call the principal and say you fell off your bike and you broke both your hands and you just can't draw tomorrow. But, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm calling the principal. It's ringing. Ooh, hot enough in my area, you say? <laughs> Bring it to me. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, hello? Principal Steinbeck speaking. Uh, uh, it, it, hello, it's me, Cody. Ooh, the young Picasso. How are you, boy? Uh, oh, I was riding my bike home today and I crashed. Do you need another bike? Uh, no, I, I, I crashed and I broke both my hands so I can't draw. Well, well, draw with your toes! I broke all of those too. Listen, boy, we need you for this drawing competition, okay? We have never won and we need to win at least one time. I promised my mom on her deathbed that we would win at least once. And you're gonna win it for us, so 
okay? You ain't, you're gonna win it. Go screw me over, boy! Oh. Now where are the hot milfs? So what do you say? We're good? You don't have to draw in the competition? No, I can't back out. He seems pretty committed. But you broke both your hands! Well, yeah, he didn't really seem to care. What, so you still have to draw? You're gonna lose! I have an idea! Junior, why don't you just dress up like Cody? Like, wear his glasses, his overalls, his bow tie? But yeah, that actually seems like a really good idea. Cody, you really think a girl can come up with a good idea? Well, yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Who invented the airplane? The Wright brothers, not the Wright sisters. Okay, but Amelia Earhart went around the world or whatever. And got lost. If a man would have been flying that plane, she wouldn't have gotten lost. Who invented peanut butter? George Washington Carver. Two George Washingtons did two good things. First president and invented peanut butter. How many female presidents are there, Cody? Well, we have a female vice president. <laughs> if the girls get lucky, then she'll take over if stuff that the other one dies. Whatever. What'd you say? Just dress up like Cody. Dumb. I know. I got an idea. I can just dress up like Cody. And then they'll think I'm Cody. That's literally what Penelope just said. Oh, Are really? you serious right now? I'm leaving. Every woman says that eventually in every relationship. All right, Cody. I'm going to dress up like you. Okay. All right, Cody. What do you think? Wow, Junior. You look pretty good. I think we might actually pull this off. Yeah, so I'm going to win the drawing competition. And when everyone's screaming, Cody, Cody, I'm going to take these glasses off and this outfit and let them know who really drew that picture. Well, don't do that. When they know you're not me, you might get disqualified or something. Well, I want people to know that I'm good at drawing. You're so stupid. You get all the credit for that dumb drawing, but it was my drawing. But no, no, Junior. It doesn't matter that you're good at drawing, okay? We just need to win this competition. But I want people to know I'm the one that's good at drawing. It doesn't matter, Junior. The most important thing is that we don't get caught. Okay, fine. I'm a win. I won't say anything. Hello and welcome to the International Drawing Competition, where drawers from around the world compete to see who's the best. Today we have two brilliant contestants. In this corner, Jacques Pierre Francois. No, oh, oh, oh. no stupid American can beat me in drawing. He may be in his 40s, but he never graduated the fifth grade. And in this corner, we have Cody Nutkiss. Oh, okay, boy, you better win this competition. The whole school is counting on you to win. Plus my dad and mom. So you got this. Go. Okay. On the count of three, both of you will draw the best dog you can. Whoever draws the best dog wins. A dog? Well, good thing Cody's not really drawing. He only learned how to draw a cat. One, two, three. Draw. <laughs> Using a Sharpie, what if you mess up? I never mess up. All right, time's up. Stop drawing. It is now time for me to come around and choose a winner. All right, jockstrap. How does your drawing look? It is not my best work, but it is pretty decent. How about yours? My drawing is the best drawing of a dog this world's ever going to see. And I'm going to win this competition. All right, boys, let's see what you did. Check out my drawing. Oh, that's not bad. I like the bark bark. Really lets you know what you're looking at. Yeah, I didn't want you to get confused because I'm really good at drawing cats. So I wanted to make it look like a dog. So I said bark bark so you knew it was a dog. Okay, Jacques, let's see what you did. Jesus Christ, that's the best picture of a dog I've ever seen. Well, the winner for the 20th year in a row, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, is Jacques Pierre Francois. <laughs> I can beat these kids any day, like taking candy from a baby. Oh, that frog eating Frenchman! He beats us every year! I'm sorry, Principal. I tried to win. I know. You tried real hard, Cody. You're only suspended for two weeks this time. I mean, that is a really good drawing of a dog. I know. Phenomenal. Yeah, we should probably stop letting him compete. This happens every year. It's getting pretty old. You know, people stop competing because they just don't think they can beat him. I'm sorry, Cody. I tried to win. It's okay, Junior. It was impossible to beat him. But hey, I have no school for the next two weeks since I'm suspended. I'm suspended too! Oh, hey, we can hang out for two weeks. Oh, what? Dude! Oh, hey, Joseph, you're alive! I have a headache. What happened? A door hit you in the head. Oh. Yeah, but something bad happened to me and Cody. Oh, what's wrong, bud? There he goes. Chugga 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 Dude, why did you even invite me over here if you're just gonna play with your stupid Thomas toy? So you can watch me play with my Thomas toy, Joseph, be grateful. Guys, 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 guess what machine I built? 
That one? Uh-huh, yeah, you got it right. What's it called? It's the come, 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 come to life machine. That's a lot of cum. <laughs> yeah, it's not the first time I've heard that. So what's it do? Take one guess. Ooh, does it make bagels? N no, anything you put in it comes to life. Oh, so close, dude. Anything you put inside the machine comes to life? Yeah, if you put a strawberry in there, you get a talking strawberry. No what? way. What if I put Thomas inside there? Then he'll come to life. We have to do it. Uh, open, open, open. Okay. Jesus, Junior, throw it harder next time. Beep. Well, I was being sarcastic. There you you want me to throw it harder? No, I was being sarcastic. Well, it's fine, it's fine. So, so how does he come to life? Uh, you just, uh, you know, you turn these dials and, I don't know, man, it's a video. We don't even know how this is gonna end yet. Just, uh, yeah, there we go. We just wait? Yeah, just, just hold on. It's just gonna poof like a big flash of light? Big, big poof, yeah. Where is it? it it'll happen. I don't think it works, Cody. Did I put it on bake? No, it's on toast. I think we're fine. Turn that last lever right there. With this one? <laughs> <laughs> Choo choo! Guys, Thomas is alive! Dude, that's so sick! Choo choo! Well, come on out, Thomas! Choo choo! Oh, Junior, I think he's in pain. He's not in pain, he loves his life. Kill me! I'm supposed to be a toy for God's sake! What is this world? Oh, Thomas, you're, you're a real train now, you can be a train! Kill me! Junior, I think maybe we should kill him. No, he's happy! Kill me! Choo choo! Do we go after him? Nah, man, let him live his life. Let him live his beautiful life. Mm-mm-mm, you've outdone yourself this time, PP. What a masterpiece. How do you do it? Choo-choo! What the hell? Kill me! Choo-choo! Thomas? So guys, what else should we make come to life? Literally anything, anything you can imagine. Guys, why did the train run all over me in the kitchen? Wait, you had a train ran on you in the kitchen? Uh, no, I mean, it was only in college, it was for the money. Wait, wait, wait Shabby, what's wrong? Look, look, the train ran all over me. One of you guys got into a costume and started running all over me. Oh, no, no, that wasn't a train costume. We really made uh, Thomas come to life with this come, come, come to life machine. What? You think I'm gonna believe that, Junior? Ugh, just leave me alone, I'm trying to cook dinner. See? Shit's crazy out here. So guys, we gotta bring some more stuff to life! Uh, we could try this little parrot toy. Y you really think that parrot would come to life? Really, Junior? Are you still doubting this machine? We have a train running around screaming, kill me, anything's possible at this point. Then bring the parrot to life! Okay, here we go. Uh, just tweak these, I guess. The uh, bottom one, the bottom one. Yeah, 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 okay. Bruh. I'm alive! I'm alive! What the parrot's alive? Dude, I always wanted a parrot! Dude, I always wanted a parrot! Bruh. Oh, dude, it's so cool! Oh, dude, it's so cool! Bruh. Now it's gonna do this thing. Oh, it's gonna do this thing! Bruh. Maybe we should just kill this one. Maybe we should just kill this one! Bruh. Kill me! Kill me! Bruh. Oh, great, now we have two things running around screaming, kill me. Uh, dude, I think there's something wrong with your machine. No, no, the parrot doesn't really want to die, he's just saying that. Well, Thomas really wants to die. Yeah, he does. Well, so what else are we gonna turn to life? Ooh, let's make this pig come to life, dude! Oh, if you make that pig come to life, then Cody's mom will have a pig friend. Ha! <sighs> let's put it in there. Alright, turn it on, turn it on. Do this again, let's... Are you ready to have two moms, Cody? <laughs> Oink! But Cody, I told you your mom was a pig! No, she's not, Junior. Mom, what the hell are you doing here? Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> it's definitely the machine now, dude! No, it's not. My mom says that all the time. She has postpartum depression. Did she just give birth? No, it's from me. It's just very post. So what are we gonna put in the machine now? Ooh, how about this raccoon I found at the park? Oh, yeah, yeah, go, go, put it in there! Who's gonna be a raccoon? <laughs> Oh, dude, I always wanted a pet raccoon. He's so cute. Who's a cute little bandit? You are, you are. I think he likes me, dude. Ah, ah, get him off me! He's trying to rip off my face! Get him off me! Oh, he definitely said kill me that time, dude. No, he didn't. He's a raccoon. He can't say anything. Okay, guys, what other toys do we put in here? Well, we definitely should not do any more animals. What about trains? No, we shouldn't do that either. So then what? why'd you make this machine if we can't do fun stuff? Look, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. What? Wait a minute, Cody. Why don't you put Ken in here? Yeah. Yeah, if I put Ken in here, he can finally be a real person. So you admit he's a doll, dude? N no, I, I just mean he'll, he'll be more real than he already is. He's not a doll, Joseph. So what if he ends up not liking you? <laughs> Junior, that's impossible. We're butt buddies. That's a sacred bond. What if he just says kill me all the time? He's not going to do that either. He's not going to want to die. Daddy's got the goods. We'll put him in. All right, Ken. This is my last time looking at you as a... A, a plastic human. Just say dog, dude. It's easier. No, no, dog, dog, Tim. Whatever, dude. Okay, Ken, give me a kiss. Mwah. Uh, ooh, you know what? That was pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you know. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Cody. What, what? Put him in there. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, Ken. I love you. Be safe. Uh, 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 shut it. Uh, uh, okay. 
Are you ready to see Ken as a real person? He, I mean, he's always been real, but yes. Happy birthday! <gasps> there must have been some magic in that old hat all along. Frosty the Snowman! What in the world is going on? Ken, you're finally alive! So you admit he was a doll, dude? Well, okay, Joseph, you know what? Yes, he was a doll, Joseph, but now he's a man. He's a man, Joseph! Kill me, you are gorgeous! Really? Oh, yeah. See, guys, I told you Ken was gay. That means he's totally okay with all the stuff we did. Oh, I gotta see those muscles. Oh, oh my god, you guys, Ken is ripped. Hey guys, what does Ken and my bunghole have in common? They're both ripped! <laughs> well, I, I can't believe Ken's actually alive. We never thought he'd ever talk, you know? Hey, hey, Ken. Hey, Ken, do you remember all the stuff we did together? Of course I do! We're butt buddies, remember? <laughs> hey, Cody, let's sing the butt buddy song. Uh, oh, Ken, not in front of my friends. It's embarrassing. Back that butt to your buddy. Back, Back that, that butt, butt to your buddy. buddy. Bag that, that butt to your buddy. buddy. I'll, I'll keep, keep it, it nice and warm. <laughs> Spread your cheeks for your buddy. Okay, okay, okay. I, don't, I don't think they're ready for that verse yet, Ken. Dude, the level of homo in this room is too much. Oh, come on, Joseph. No need to be homophobic. Oh, I'm not homophobic, bro. Uh, do your gay thing. Hey, Cody. Eskimo kisses. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we gotta go, but Chef PB just called my name. <laughs> Ken, Ken, I can't believe you're real. Now we can finally do all the stuff I wanted to do with you. Oh, I feel a big gay montage coming on. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I always wanted to hear your Austin Powers impression. <laughs>
Okay, Ken, what the hell? Is there something you need to tell me? No, there's nothing I need to tell you. Everything is okay. Excuse me. I'm the manager of this movie theater, and the young lady that was sitting here said that you were harassing her. What? No, we weren't harassing her. I would like for you guys to leave the theater now. What? No, no, okay, fine. Come on, Ken. Let's leave this stupid theater. Junior, can you believe Ken got us kicked out of the movie theater? Wait, what's going on? Am I interrupting something? No, Penelope just came over to hang out with me. Yeah, he said he'd pay me. Wow, she sure is pretty. Oh my god, thank you so much. You're so handsome. Wait, really? Check this out. Oh my god, he's gorgeous! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Penelope, I'm gonna need you to get the fuck out of here. What's wrong, Cody? I'm just telling your friend that he's hot. And I'm just telling her that she's very pretty. <laughs> I'll kill both of you. Uh, Penelope, let, let's get out of here. Okay. Ken, what the hell is wrong with you? You're being all weird! Nothing's wrong, baby. E everything is fine. No, everything is not fine, Ken. First you're telling Penelope she's pretty, and then there was that girl in the movie theater. What's happening? <sighs> I... I don't know how to tell you this, Cody, but... What? You want me to be on top? I, I don't think I like Wiener. Don't like Wiener? What are you talking about? It's Wiener! In fact, Cody, I think I might like... Not Wiener? What? You like not Wiener? Ken, you're not making sense. That doesn't make any sense. Wiener's the only option. I'm sorry, Cody. It's just when I saw that girl in the movie theater... I got this weird, tingly feeling in my pants. Well, well may, may, maybe she had a wiener. You don't know. I don't think she did, Cody. It's just how I feel. Uh, Ken, this, this doesn't make any sense. I think I just like girls. N no! 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 You will die. Come on. That's just how I feel, Cody. Ken, but, but, but what, about the, what about the butt buddy song, huh? <laughs> spread your cheeks, spread your body. Cody, Cody. Spread your cheeks, spread your body. Cody, don't be like that. I... I have the straight buddy song now. What straight buddy song? Lift your skirt for your buddy. No, no. Lift your bra for your buddy. Well, no, 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 I'll no, no, keep it it nice no, no, I can't listen to this. Shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. Cody, I, I truly don't think it's you. It's me. <laughs> so that's when I went to Target and got a new boyfriend. You mean a new doll? He's not a doll, Joseph. This one's real. This is Ken. He's, he's real. He's real. So you just went to the store and bought another Ken? Yes. No, no. I, he, I, I got... I, I, I bought... He's my boyfriend. He's real. He's Ken. This is the only Ken that matters. So why don't we just put him in the machine and see if he likes you? No, it, does, it doesn't... It, I don't need to do that because I already know he likes me because he likes me. He's Ken. So what happened to the one that, like, turned into a human? We don't have to talk about him. He doesn't matter, okay? This is Ken. This is the only Ken that matters. This is always Ken. It's always been Ken. Okay, well, at least everything's back to normal. Kill me! Kill me! Man, somebody kill this train! gonna sit back and have a nice relaxing Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, honey! Are we gonna have a nice turkey dinner this year? No, we're gonna order some Chinese food and then we're just gonna sit here and watch the Cowboys lose. But Boiny, I wanna have a nice family dinner! Well then divorce me and marry a guy with a family, cause I don't have one. But Boiny, I'm your family. <gasps> Boiny, your mom's calling! No, 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 don't answer it. I don't have a mother. Hello? Yeah, hello! Is Brookie there? No, no, I'm not here. I'm not here. Yes, he's here! Well, then why didn't he answer the phone? He don't want to talk to his own mother? Oh, he's just very busy! Mm-hmm, sure he is. I bet he's sitting on the couch, not wearing pants, drinking a beer. Well, she's not wrong. He loves you very much! Okay, well, if he loves me so much, why don't you guys join us for Thanksgiving dinner? <gasps> Wonderful! Then I'll see you kids in a little bit! Okay, we'll see you real soon! Karen, why would you tell her that? I don't want to go over there! Because, Boynie, we're gonna have a nice Thanksgiving family meal with your mother! So go get dressed in a nice buttoned-up shirt! I don't have a buttoned-up shirt. The only buttoned-up shirt I have is my cop uniform! Oh, <gasps> Boynie, wear your cop uniform! You look so sexy as a cop! Yeah, that's what I want. To look sexy for my mom. What? Wait, yes, that's a good idea, because if I wear my cop uniform, then when I get there, I can just say that I had an emergency call and I have to leave. You're a genius, Karen! Mm. Boydy, I'm so excited to have Thanksgiving dinner with your family! Hold on, Karen, here's the plan. We're going in for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to get an emergency phone call from my boss, and then we're leaving. Stop it, Boydy, we're not doing that! Oh, yes, we are. Jonathan, answer the damn door! Okay, okay, geez, Mom, I'm going! Oh, hey, this guy! You actually made it! Shocking, I know. Oh, and hey, Karen. If you ever want to leave Brickson Guy for a real man, daddy's here. Hi, Jonathan! One 
want this. He's gonna be screaming my name. Just let us in, Jonathan. J uh, 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 what's your password? Let us in, or I'm leaving. <laughs> How'd you know, come on in? It's been the same password since we were little. <laughs> <sighs> oh, mother, look who's here. It's your least favorite son and this foxy lady. Oh, well, would you look at that? The star of the show finally decided to show up. Where you been, Brookie? You haven't seen your mother in 10 years. I've been working, Ma. Yeah, doing what? Playing cops and robbers? Get a real job. I have a lot of jobs, Ma. Yeah, and take off that stupid hat at my dinner table. <sighs> okay, it's part of the uniform, but fine. Wh wh what's this? Oh, no. I'm getting a call, and it's from the police, Chief. Uh, what's that, Chief? Oh, no, a shooting? And, and how many dead? Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm gonna have to go. I know you're not using no damn phone at my dinner table. Hey, this is Brookie's mother. Yeah, he just quit. Look at that. Problem solved. So why don't you go get out of that disgusting uniform and get ready for dinner? I don't have any other clothes. Oh, don't worry. I always keep a spare. <sighs> Jesus, this shirt is huge. Big search, computer repair search. We're not doing that anymore, Jonathan. Mom, Brookie guy said he doesn't want to be a part of my business anymore. Brookie, play along with your brother while you're here. You hear that, Brookie guy? That means I'm your boss. And first order of business? Tickle five! What? Tickle Yo, five! Hey, hey, Jonathan, tone it down! Mommy's got a headache and I'm trying to get rid of it. Sorry, Mommy. We'll continue this later at bedtime. I'm not staying the night. Hey, Jonathan, where the hell's the toy? Mommy's hungry. Uh, so, uh, one second, Mom. Can I see you in the kitchen, please? Wait, why? Just come on. Okay. What's in okay. here? Is here? What is it, Jonathan? Well, there's a teensy weensy problem with the Thanksgiving turkey. What could possibly be wrong with the turkey? Well, I couldn't find the turkey, so I got a chicken instead. That's fine. We can eat chicken. Okay, perfect. What, what, you got a live chicken? Why the hell would you get a live chicken? Well, where was I supposed to find a live turkey on the day of Thanksgiving? You're not. You're supposed to find a dead one. Oh, that, there was a ton of dead ones. Well, then why didn't you buy one? Well, because Red Lobster has live lobsters. I, I don't care about Red Lobster. They have really good cap cakes. I, I, I don't give a shit. You have to kill this chicken. We can't kill Club Norris. Cluck Norris? You named him? Yeah, he came up with the name on the way home. Well, I don't care. We have to kill Cluck Norris. You can't kill Cluck Norris. You want to bet? Don't Look, we're gonna have to kill this chicken because I don't want mom to yell at us again. Well, I bet you can't kill him. He's a nice degree black belt. I bet I can. I got a lot of rage. Come on, Cog Norris. <laughs> Hold him still, Jonathan. What are you gonna do, Burking Guy? I'm uh, I'm gonna give him a haircut. Okay, well, watch out for his neck. Uh huh. You <laughs> can't guy, you missed. I wasn't aiming for his hair. Wait, oh, Jesus Christ, the body's running away. Why would you do that, Cog Norris? Chicken body? Ah, I got him. Shut up, Jonathan! You murdered my best friend! What the hell's going on in there? Nothing, Ma! No! Get up, Norris! Jonathan, get the hell out of the oven. No, I'm gonna die with him. Jonathan, if you stop playing, I'll play World of Warcraft with you or whatever. I don't play World of Warcraft, I play EverQuest. Uh, okay. Or we could play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, fine, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, okay. Oh, it's crazy. Okay, come on. Ugh. <sighs> We're back. Where's the toy It's in the oven, Ma! But Brooklyn guy, it's a chicken, not a turkey. She doesn't need to know that. <laughs> but if we lie, we're gonna get spanking. She's not gonna spank me, I'm a grown man. I kinda like the spankings. I lie on purpose. Get away from me! And who the hell could that be? Hey, Brookie, go answer the door! It's not my house. Hey, don't talk back to me! Go answer the door, I'm gonna hit you with this beer bottle! Fine. Oh, I'm going to! Hello? Hey, I got a call about a noise complaint. With Simmons? Oh, hey, mate, what are you doing here? This is my mom's house. What are you doing here? Oh, I just got a call about a noise complaint. Hi, Officer Simmons! Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good. I haven't seen you since last Friday. What? Yeah, Officer Simmons comes over every Friday, and when he does, Mom makes me go in my room and put my headphones in. But I never do. I put my ear to the door, and I hear Officer Simmons say, Okay, that's a stinky beaver, mate. And then I hear him say, Oh, it's all yours. And then, silence. Jonathan, can you give me and Simmons a minute alone, please? But I want to stay out here with Officer Simmons. Jonathan, go. <laughs> Name? Simmons, do you have a thing with my mom? I'm sorry, mate. I didn't know it was your mother, but she's a freak. Ew, Simmons, that's so gross. And that's the same shirt I wear when I'm doing it, too. Ew. And it's my lucky one. I never wash it. Ew, 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 
you, 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 Simmons, just get out of here! I know that voice anywhere. Is that my sexy officer, Simmons? Sure is, baby. Well, I think I need to be strip searched. Right away, ma'am. No, Simmons. Well, I gotta do my duty. No. Protect and serve. No, 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 no. <clears throat> There's my big papa bear. Mama needs some porridge. Well, this porridge is just right, ma'am. I'm gonna yeah. throw up. Isn't it romantic? Sorry, I had to go to the bathroom. Which bathroom? Why? Because I have cameras set up in certain bathrooms. Let me go check. That's illegal, Jonathan. I missed you, honey. Oh my god! She went to the right bathroom? It's so hot. I'm gonna go check the turkey. Oh, perfect. That gives me time to steal your woman. Please do! Uh, God, please kill me. Uh, let's check this turkey. Little burned, but who gives a shit? Hey, sexy. You come here often? Oh, Jonathan, you're so silly! Shh, shh, shh. Don't call me Jonathan. Call me daddy. Boy, and he talks about you all the time. Yeah, of course he does. That's because he's jealous of me. One time, I walked in on him in the shower. Let's just say my wiener's bigger. Yeah. <sighs> okay, here's the turkey. Brooklyn and Guy, get out of here! Me and Karen were just about to kiss. She's such a tease. <sighs> Karen, can I talk to you for a second? Okay, ooh, boy, ooh, I'll come too. No, Jonathan, go get Mom out of the bedroom. Uh, fine. What's wrong, boy, Dave? What's wrong? Are you kidding me? Have you seen any of this? Every family has drama! Boy day. Drama? We don't just have drama, Karen. That's a severed chicken head. I had to kill Clock Norris. Boyney, you're just so stressed out. Yeah, of course I'm stressed out. My partner is in the bedroom with my mom right now, and my little brother recorded you in the bathroom. What? Yeah, I know. It's not exactly the dream Thanksgiving you had in mind, is it, Karen? Boyney, I just want to have a nice family dinner for once. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. You know what? We came this far. We might as well just stay and eat dinner, but after that, we're getting out of here. This place is literally hell. Okay. I'll be so shimmy. Mother, dinner's ready. All right. Now that Mama's got a belly full of porridge, I want some stuffing. Mother, you already ate? Uh, can we please just eat our food now? Good idea. Hey, no touching the food until we say grace. Now, who wants to say? Ooh, 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 me, me, me. Mother, mother, right here, right here. Brookie, how about you say? Me and God are not on good terms right now because I don't think there is a God if my life is like this. All right, screw it. I'll say it. Everyone bow your heads. Dear gods, I want to tell you everything I'm thankful for us. First of all, is the best son a mother could ask for, my baby boy Jonathan. That's me. The next thing I'm thankful for is the most well-endowed man I've ever wrapped my lips around. Jesus. My big boy Simmons, yeah! But let me tell you what I'm not thankful for. Here it comes. My good for nothing deadbeat son, Brookie. We ain't been here for 10 goddamn years. Where you been, Brookie? I could've died, huh? Huh? You bitch! Was that a roll? Yeah, shut your mouth while I'm talking to God. Amen. Now let's eat. Okay, I'll pass out the chick, the, the, the turk. The chicken, it's chicken. Man, oh man, does this look scrumptious. <gasps> Simmons, I didn't know you cut it off and put it on the plate. Uh, Ma, can we please stop talking about that at the dinner table? This is my damn house, and I'll talk however I want to at my own dinner table. Oh man, look at that. That's a lot of meat for someone with a lot of meat. Eat up, big boy. You're gonna need the energy. <sighs> I'm just gonna hurry up and eat so I can leave. Yeah, broken guy, where is your bib? I don't need a bib because I'm not five years old. Jesus, Jonathan, did you get enough potatoes? Mother says you're gonna help me grow big and healthy and strong. You're 32 years old. How much bigger are you gonna get? That's your wife. <sighs> I told her the shower story. Oh, so you told her the story of how you walked in on me in the shower and then cried for three weeks because you realized you weren't the only person in the world that had a wiener? Yeah. I didn't tell her that part. Yeah, I didn't think so. Just shut up and eat your food, John. Yeah, fine, but still. Stupid, stupid man. Tail is so chunky. Good morning. Oh my God, Boyney! Oh Jesus Christ! Somebody help him. <coughs> Thanks, Mom. Boyney! Not him, Jonathan. Somebody help him cut his mashed potatoes. I don't want him to choke. <coughs> Are you kidding me? I almost died. Hey, yo, is anyone going to help me cut these mashed potatoes? They are so chunky. All right, that is it. We are leaving. Oh, good thinking, Brookie. And while you're out, can you give me some more beer? I 
just ran out. Oh, and also give me an ice pack, because I'm going to be sore after Simmons is done. Isn't that right, big boy? Mm-hmm. Don't go, go. Come on, baby. Don't look back. We're leaving. Boyney, I'm so sorry. I made you go over there. Yeah, well, maybe you'll listen to me next time. Here, take this shirt, burn it, sweep up the ashes, burn the ashes, and then bury it. Who could possibly be calling me? Hello? Hey, Brooklyn guy, Officer Simmons is looking for his special shirt. Could you bring it back, please? No! <sighs> Boyney, do you want me to order Chinese food? Yes, please. Second day of kindergarten. <laughs> Has anyone seen my square piece? I can't find my square piece! No! I think you stole my square piece! I didn't steal your square piece! I'm coming! Who stole my square piece? Get out, Dr. Duck and Mrs. Duck Purple! Get out, freaking Purple! There's no way it goes, idiot! Shut your blocks up your ass! How about I shove them up yours? Hey guys, how's it going? Don't Okay. Hey, Cody, this piece won't fit. Well, that's because you got the cow and the pig confused again, Freddy. Oh, you're so smart, Cody. You should be in a higher grade. Yes, I should be. Hey, Cody, I learned a new word from my dad last night. You want to hear it? Okay. Hooker. Hooker? Yeah, my dad said he wanted to go eat out a hooker. Oh, uh, he must have been talking about a hook and ladder sub from Firehouse Subs. Then why did he say it was going to be so hot? Uh, because they heat up their subs. That's why it's called Firehouse. Is that why he came home with red sauce all over his face? Yeah, he must have gotten a meatball sub instead. Oh, I want a hooker! Miss Fitzpatrick, can I have a hooker? Mikey, stop it! We do not say that word! Why are you getting so mad? A hooker just means a sandwich! No, it's not! If I hear you say that word one more time, you're going in the timeout chair! Okay, jeez! I don't know why she doesn't like sandwiches. All right, class, we're gonna start the day! Class! Class! One, two, three, eyes on these! Be quiet! Good. All right, today, class, I didn't take my Xanax because my prescription ran out. Xanax is a fancy adult word for happy medicine. My dad gives me Xanax! Shut the fuck up, Mikey! All right, class, today is Blue Day. Over the weekend, you were supposed to get three blue things for show and tell. Who wants to go first? Oh, this is Fitzpatrick. Pick me, pick me. I want to go first. Me, me, me. Would anybody else like to go first? Uh, anybody? Oh, what about you, Daryl, huh? There, 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 there. Uh, please, anybody? <gasps> Freddy, how about you? Come on up. Oh, man. Okay. All right, Freddy, what three blue items did you bring? Well, I have my blue bowling pin, and my blue swimming goggles, and my James P. Sullivan Snuggie. Very good, Freddy, but actually you have four blue items because you're wearing a blue striped shirt. Fuck! Does that mean I fail? No, in fact, it means you get a prize out of the prize bucket, which is also blue. Okay, I'm going to choose the grimace. The prize bucket? Well, that's not fair. Mrs. Fitzpatrick, how do I get something out of the prize bucket? By not being you, Mikey. Okay, class, who wants to go next? Oh, me, 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 Mrs. Fitzpatrick, me. No, Mikey, you're going last. Oh, wet. Cody, how about you come up? Okay, I'll do it. That's not fucking fail. Hey, give me a toy. No, it's my toy. Give it to me. Having a rough day, Mrs. Fitz? It's okay, Cody. Okay, Cody, what three blue things did you bring? Okay, check this out. I'm wearing it. I got a blue bow tie, a blue shirt, and blue shorts. Very good, Cody. Go ahead and sit down. Huh, okay. <laughs> I just can't help but notice you didn't give me something out of the prize bucket. Well, Cody, you didn't go above and beyond. Freddy brought four blue things. Well, he didn't even know his shirt was blue. His mom dresses him. All right, who wants to go next? Okay, you know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna go rile Mikey up. Don't you dare, Cody. Cody, how about a sticker? Okay, I guess I can take a sticker. <laughs> hey, Mikey, check this out. I got a sticker. <gasps> Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I want a sticker! Mikey, if you shut up for the rest of class, I will give you a sticker! Okay! You already lost. Daryl, how about you come up? There, 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 there. Yes, Daryl, come there, on up. There, 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 Get there, your ass up there, here. There, there, Someone help Daryl! Come on, Daryl! Alright, Daryl, 
come on up. Now, what three blue things did you bring for show and tell? Uh, oh, very good. You have a blue page in your book. Okay, what else did you bring that's blue? Oh, blue shorts. Very good, Daryl. And what's your third blue thing? Uh, let's see. Um, oh, here we go. A blue bear! Good job, Daryl! Please go sit down! Oh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, can I go next, please? Oh, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me! I promise I'll be good, please! Uh, okay, Mikey, come on. Just, let's get this over with. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I got some really good stuff! Okay, Mikey, what three blue items did you bring? Okay, so for my fourth item, I have this really cool blue block! Awesome. Okay, what else did you bring? For my second item, I have this really cool blue block. Mikey, did you only bring blue blocks from the class? No, I got a really good last item. For my last item, I got this pair of blue underwear from the backseat of my dad's car. Mikey, where the hell did you get those? I told you I got it from the backseat of my dad's car. Mikey, get out. Get, go sit down. Do I get a prize? No, Mikey, get out of my sight. Go sit down. But I brought three blue things and my pants are blue. That Hey, Mikey, I think your dad might be boning Mrs. Fitzpatrick because you found her underwear in the back of your dad's car. Well, my dad is her top donator on her OnlyFans, so that kind of makes sense. All right, class, I think we only have time for one more show and tell before lunch, and I need lunch to go find myself a Xanax. So who wants to go right now? I'll go. All right, Alex, come on up. Now, what three blue items did you bring? Well, I don't own anything blue, but I got this purple crayon because purple is my favorite color. Okay, well, that is not blue. You were supposed to bring three blue things. But when's it going to be a purple day? I mean, today's blue day. Last week was yellow day. We had a fucking black month. When's it going to be purple day? It's not if you keep talking like that, mister. This is bullshit. All right, class. New rule. No more cussing or I'm putting soap in your mouths. Your parents signed waivers. I can legally do that. Hey, how about lunch? Pull out your lunches and I'm gonna go find me some medicine! Oh, I hate turkey and cheese lunchables! I have nachos! Let me have one! No! Guys, guys, make room for a real pimp. I got a pizza lunchable. Whoa! I've never seen one of those in person before! Only rich kids get to eat those! Yeah, I go band for band. Can I try a piece? No, Mikey, you have fun with your turkey and cheddar. But I wanna try a piece! Yeah, well, I wanna play with your blocks! Don't touch my Okay, then you can't have my pizza. Can I try it? Sure, Freddy. Why does he get to try it, but I don't? Well, because Freddy's not a dick. Oh, yeah, but well, you know what? Ah! Well, don't throw turkey at me. Yeah. All right, class, I'm back. How about that? It was Cody, it was Cody, it was Cody, it was him. See, he has the pizza lunchable. He threw it. Mikey, you friggin' narc. Cody, timeout chair now. <laughs> you go to the timeout chair. That means I can eat your pizza lunchable. Screw off, Mikey. <laughs> Cody, sit in that timeout chair and think about what you've done. I don't want to go to stupid timeout. I don't care, Cody. You know better than to throw food. Well, then Mikey should be in timeout because he threw turkey at me. You're wearing the good boy sticker. You should be setting an example. You didn't find your Xanax, did you? No, I did not. Then what'd you have for lunch? A plan B. Damn, you're having a rough time, aren't you? Yes, I am, Cody. Now shut up and think about what you've done. All right, class, now I'm going to read you a Dr. Seuss book, Hop on Pop. You hopped on my pop in the back of his car. <laughs> God damn it, Mikey, get your ass up here and sit in the timeout chair. Wait, we can't both sit in the timeout chair. Yes, you can until you two can learn how to get along. <sighs> Not freaking Mikey. Oh, man, I didn't even get to finish my Lunchable. Mikey, sit there next to Cody. Move. Why are you pushing me, Mikey? Move your big fat butt. Away. Mikey, so help me God, if you don't cut this shit out, I will call your father. Why? So you can leave more underwear in his car? <laughs> You're making it worse, Mikey. Oh, I'm going to hit him. Oh, go ahead. You can't hit me harder than my father does. You know what? Maybe you two are perfect for each other. Damn. All right, class. Hop on, pop. <laughs> Mikey, hop on my pop. Cup, pop, pop in cup. Pop, cup, cup on pop. This book is freaking bullying. You know what? Free day! Do whatever the hell you want! Color draw, play your games, I'm over it! What well, teacher, what about us? Can we go play? You will stay there till you die. But what about me? Can I go play? No! You threw a pizza at the wall! I was throwing it at Mikey. Doesn't he deserve it? No, I don't care. Both of you will sit there, and if you either one of you leave, I will write a note home.
home to your parents. Yeah, more like a love note. <laughs> yeah, I want to go play. Why don't you go play then, pussy? Well, because unlike you, my dad's not banging the teacher, and I don't think he'd appreciate getting a note. Well, I'm going to go play with my blocks. Mike, Mikey, what are you doing? Get, get back in the chair, Mikey. Mikey. Woohoo! My blocks are so freaking fun. Mikey, 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 get back here. If she sees you, she's going to call both our parents. Mikey. Okay, I'm gonna have to get him before she sees. And that one goes right there. Mikey. And that one goes right there. Mikey. And this one goes shit. Mikey. Right there. What? We have to get back in the chair. We're gonna get in trouble. No, I'm playing with my blocks. If the teacher sees us out of the chair, she's gonna call our parents. Who cares? I care. Well, I don't. I'm gonna play with my blocks. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, Joseph, school sucked today. I know, it's like it gets harder and harder. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, Cody, how was kindergarten? <laughs> it sucked. What do you mean it sucked? I thought you liked it. Well, I liked the first day, but today sucked. The teacher wrote a letter home to my parents. What's it say? It says, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Nutkiss, your son Cody was very rude and disruptive in class today. He backtalked me, argued with the other students, and threw his pizza at the wall. When I put him in timeout, he left without permission. Please speak with your son about how this behavior is unacceptable. Damn, dude, I didn't know you were that much of a savage. I don't want to show this letter to my mom. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Just don't show it to your mom. Oh, yeah, you're right. So you're gonna go back to kindergarten? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go back there and kick Mikey's ass. You're gonna fight a five-year-old? Yeah, and I'm gonna win. What if you don't? Well, I'm gonna. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, he's not gonna win. No way. Ow, my feet. And you drive me up to KFC so I can get some chicken? No, your boy, Dougie. I'm not going to drive you to get some KFC. But I'm really, really so, so hungry good. I don't care how so hungry good you are. So good. Oh, li listen, look, you can drive yourself. But I ain't got a car. Are you going to buy me a car? What? No, I'm not going to buy you a car, Dougie. Are you going to buy me that donk with the wagon? What? No donks, no wagons. If you want a car, you can get a job and save up your own money. But I can't get a job because I'm disabled. How are you disabled? I can't read because I'm a dinosaur. What? Oh, there's some jobs that don't involve reading, like you can go to McDonald's and make cheeseburgers. But how am I going to know where the cheese is if I can't read? You said you can't read. You can still see. You can see cheese. What about the pickles? There's someone at the door. Listen, if you want a job, go, go, go ask someone for a job, okay? Okay, but I don't know how to ask. Oh, go, go ask someone. Go. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman, what are you doing here? I just wanted to show you the most recent thing I bought. It's a money-counting robot. A money-counting robot? Yeah, because I have so much money that I'm afraid I might miscount. Because my fingers start hurting, my eyes start hurting. So I bought Buck Buddy here so he can count my money for me. I am Buck Buddy. I count money. Can I come inside and show you how he works? Well, actually, I'm really busy right now. Great! Come on! <laughs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants to show off his money-counting robot. All right, Marvin, check it out. Here's a pile of $100,000. Watch him count it. Wait, you already know it's $100,000. He doesn't have to count it. Well, I just want to show off. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. So all he does is count your money? 50, yep, 000, look at him go. 60,000. That's a lot of money. It sure is. 70,000. 80,000. I think you could count faster than this. Well, when you're a billionaire and you have billions of dollars, it gets tiring counting all that money. $100,000. Oh, yay, you counted it. Now you can leave. Well, hold on. There's more money. Count it. Shit. Now I have to restart. Well, no, no. Count it somewhere else. We, we're busy. No, Marvin. I'm going to leave him here with you, okay? Well, why? Because I hate hearing his stupid voice. I'll be back later to pick 50, him up. Well, no, just don't go. 60,000. 70,000. 80,000. All right, baby, let's go downstairs and eat something. This is annoying. Okay. 100,000. 110,000. 120,000. What's that little robot do? Don't distract me. I'm counting money. But I got some questions to ask you. I said don't distract me. Wait. Shit. Now I have to start over. 10,000. Yo, man, I think you got a little wire loose in the bag. Let me look at it for you. Really? Yeah. Ow, Ooh. stop it. Ooh. Ow. All right, Marvin, I made chicken salad sandwiches. They look so good, baby. Marvin, you should really go upstairs and check on that robot. Make sure no one's messing with it trying to steal the money. Good thinking, baby. I don't want to be responsible if money goes missing. <sighs> now that I'm inside this money count robot, the guy's going to keep giving me money to count, and I'm going to keep taking it. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> hey, Buck Buddy, how's the counting the money going? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, bop. About two to thirty. I'm moody. Two to thirty. How's the?
the money counting going? Oh, I'm counting it. I mean, I'm, I, he go $10,000 right here. He go $200. He go $100. And I think, I, actually, I think so I'm done counting it. So I'm going to take this money back to the boss man. To Goodman? Yeah, the good man who gave me all this money. <laughs> yeah, so, so you know how to get back, right? Yeah, I know how to get to the car dealerships, and the... I know how to do what I'm doing. A what? Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Hold on. All right, bye, Buck Buddy. Well, I'm glad he's gone. Marvin, is everything okay with the robot? Yeah, he just got done counting the money, so now he's walking back to Goodman right now. Thank God. I hate it when Goodman leaves his expensive things here. Yeah, and then we always lose it, and I'm responsible. Now I get to eat my sandwich. What was that? Is that a car revving? Who is that? Ducky! Your boy! Well, what is this? It's a hell cat. A kitty cat from hell. How did you get this? I bought it. How'd you box it? With money. Where'd you get the money? I got me a job. Oh, you got a job? What kind of job did you get? I'm an accountant, because I account money. How'd you get an accountant job? You don't have a degree. Oh, I got plenty of degrees. It's currently 87 degrees outside. <laughs> Dougie, look, how did you get an accountant job? You, you can't read, so how can you count? Because I can count with numbers. <sighs> okay, well listen, as long as you got this car legally, that's all that matters. I got it legally, kind of. Kind of? Look, I don't want to know the kind of. Just drive safe, and I'm proud of you for getting a job. All right, folks, I'm going to run up to the KFC. You want to come? No, I don't want to come. All right, what about the poop pies? Not the Popeyes. I love that chicken for a poo poo. Okay, look, you have fun driving. <laughs> Oh man, now I can finally eat my sandwich. Wait, wait, where's my sandwich? I'm so sorry, Marvin. I didn't think you were gonna eat it, so I gave it to Chiffy. Thanks, Daddy. It was delicious, but you can still have my pickle. Hi, oh, yeah, yeah. I think I just lost my appetite. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy ate my sandwich. Hey, Marvin, I'm here to pick up my robot. Oh, well, he just left with the money. He said he was bringing it to you. Excuse me? Yeah, he got done counting the money, and he picked it up and said, I'm taking this to Goodman. He can't do that. All he knows how to do is just count money. What, what, no, but he said he was bringing it to Goodman. That's impossible, Marvin. He doesn't know names. All he knows how to do is count money. That's it. Well, he said he said Goodman, and, and, he, and he got done counting the money. He, he left. Marvin, did you take my money, and this is your stupid excuse on how to get away with it? No, I didn't take your money. Your dumb robot picked up the money and left. I left that money here with you, so you're responsible for it. If you don't give me my money back, I'm calling the police. But I didn't take your money. Your robot took it. Do you know anyone else who could have taken the money? No. I mean, no. who else would take the money? And the... Oh. Yeah, I... I know someone who could have taken it. I, I have to call someone. Hold on. All right, I'm calling my friend who, who may have taken the money. Yo, it's your boy, Dougie. Holla at your boy. Uh, hey, Dougie, it, it's Marvin. Yo, Marvin, you want me to pick you up some poo-poo chicken and some business? No, 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 no poo-poo chicken or business. Um, I'm calling because I realized that car you got was very expensive. Yeah, I bought it with money. Yeah, yeah, so the money. So there was a robot counting a bunch of money on the couch, and I was wondering if maybe you saw that robot with the money? Nah, man, I ain't seen no boobops with the money. Uh, okay, well, did you see him, like, outside? Because he was walking with the money. Did, did you did you possibly take the money? Oh, right, man. No, I ain't take no money. But but what would happen if I did? Well, if you did, you would get in trouble. I'ma get in trouble if I took the money. You're gonna get in a lot of trouble if you took the money. Are they gonna give me a spanking? You're, you're gonna get a big spanking if you took that money. Oh, well, I ain't taking no money, folks. He took the money. He's in a green challenger. All right, well, I'm calling the police. Yeah, yeah, you should. All right, Officer Cuddlesworth, we're looking for a green sports car. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Officer Cuddlesworth, that is a green sports car. Wait, you're colorblind, how would you know? Let's go. Ooh, I got me some KFC chickens. It's so good. What the, the poo poo, why they pulling me over? I ain't do nothing. Well, I'll offer this chicken. All right, Officer Cuddlesworth, we got him pulled over. Now, this guy's wanted for stealing over $100,000, so if he tries anything, you bite his hand off. <laughs> I hope that means you understand. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, sir, roll your window down. I got me some chicken. Yeah, okay, just roll your window down. All the way down. This is all I legally behave to. Would you please just roll your window down? Man, I can't believe you be doing this to me. I know my rights. Why you got to be all that pull me over? Oh, okay, look, y your car matches the description of someone whose car who stole over $100,000 and a money counting robot. I ain't got $100,000 in a robot. Well, that's interesting, because I can see both of those things from here. Oh, okay. So it's illegal for me to have some money in a robot. Well, it's definitely suspicious when there's somebody who's wanted that matches that description. 
You want some chicken? No, you're not going to bribe me with chicken. It's Colonel Sanders. That's... 11 herbs and spices. Yeah, that's very tempting, but I'm more of a Popeye's man. Okay, well, we can go to Boo Boo. Get in the car. Let's go. No, no. Look, I'm going to have to search your car. Why you got to search my car? I ain't do nothing wrong. Well, I have probable cause because I'm seeing some pretty suspicious stuff right here. All right, well, how about you turn around and close your eyes and give me 30 seconds to hide it all? Well, we're not playing hide and seek with the evidence. Well, you got some dog. That's cheating. That's two against one. Yeah, you're right. That's not fair. Okay, but you only have 30 seconds. All right. Okay. His head. What? Uh, oh, okay. Well, okay. I can obviously see what you did. You didn't have to throw away the chicken. That part wasn't a crime. I wouldn't give it back. Well, I mean, if you really want it, it was on the ground, but I mean, you can have the. Oh, it's like you. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to arrest you because I can see what you did. Why? It's not in my car, so it's not mine. I ain't do it. But it was in your car, and now it's on the ground. I saw it. How you know it wasn't there before? Okay, that's it. You're under arrest. Aww. All right, make you one phone call. Do you know the number to Popeyes? I would suggest you not call Popeyes. Why? You don't think they deliver? No, I, I would suggest you call someone who can pay your bail. Okay. Hello. Marvin, it's your boy Dougie. Hey, Dougie. And I was in trouble. What'd you do? This mean, bad police officer man arrested me for no reason. Uh, he stole a bunch of money in a robot, and then he used the money to buy a car. I ain't do that, Marvin, I promise. Well, I, I, I think you did do that, Dougie. Well, he doesn't have no proofs. All the evidence was all on the ground outside the car. Yeah, he threw the evidence on the ground because I let him hide it. So I probably, probably shouldn't have done that. But he still don't have no proof that it was even in my cars for the first place. Well, listen, Dougie. When you do bad things, you go to jail. But see, Mom, I ain't do nothing. Can you please come bail me out? I'm scared. How much is your bail? How much is the bail? It's about $100,000. Oh, it's not that much. It's only $100,000. $100,000? I don't have that, Dougie. Oh, Dad, can you at least bring me some chicken? I'm so hungry. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I love you. <sighs> Say it back. I, I don't know you. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. He says he's gonna bring me some chicken. Yep, okay, back in your cell. All right, he's in here. Marvin, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dougie. Oh, Marvin, I can hardly recognize you. I've been in here for so long. The walls are closing in and I'm going crazy. He's been in there for barely a minute. Well, I brought you your KFC. <gasps> oh, you brought me the KFC? Try pushing it through the bars. Uh, okay. I, I probably shouldn't. I, I really should search that. Okay. Oh, thanks for the chicken, Marvin. Well, how long is he going to be in there, officer? Well, I hate to say it, but... Probably until the next Dougie video. Well, you hear that, Dougie? You're going to be in there for a long time. Oh. Uh, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I did, Marvin. Next time I won't buy such a noticeable car, and I won't keep all the avenues. That's, that's all I learned. <sighs> Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm trying to open my oatmeal cream pie. Well, let me open it. Oh, Jeffy, don't hit me with it. Oh, look, Daddy, you got it open for me. Thanks. Marvin, I took another pregnancy test, and it says not pregnant. Again? Wait a minute, Daddy. You're Porky? Porky Pig? Well, uh, uh, well uh, 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 yes, Jeffy. We're just trying to have a kid of our own. But, but, but what about me? Jeffy, the Jeff man. Well, Jeffy, I want to experience motherhood. You know, pregnancy, childbirth, breastfeeding. Breastfeeding? If you want to breastfeed somebody, I'm right here. And you got two of them, so me and Daddy can tag team. What, well, Jeffy, no. Listen, we just want to have a, a real kid. I'm a real boy. Well, Jeffy, don't do your stupid Pinocchio impression. Wait a minute, Daddy. So you're telling me while I'm eating oatmeal cream pies, y'all are in the bedroom making your own? Yeah. You're telling me while I'm asleep in my bed, y'all are in your bed doing something nasty? Uh, yeah. Well, listen, Jeffy, there's nothing wrong with it. Marvin, this is the third one month in a row that it says not pregnant. Maybe you should go to the doctor and get your fertility tested. You're right. I should go to a doctor and get tested. Can I come? No, Jeffy. We don't have to test you. I mean, can I go with you? Yeah. You can go with me. Come on. All right. 
Hey there, welcome to the doctor's office. How can I help you? Well, doctor, for the last three months I've been trying to get my wife pregnant, but it's just not working. Oh, you're shooting blanks, huh? I think so. I think we can help with that. Hey, doctor, I got a problem. What's that? Every morning at precisely 8 a.m. I take a dump. Why is that a problem? I don't wake up till 9. Oh, well, okay, I guess I recommend setting an alarm for 7.59 then. I'll just sleep in it. Okay. So, doctor, how do we fix my problem? Well, if we want to check and see if your tadpoles are alive and swimming, I need you to take this cup, go into the bathroom, and, uh choke the monkey or spank the chicken, whatever the kids are saying these days, just right in the cup. So I'm supposed to go in there and do it by myself? Well, I'm not going to do it for you. I mean, I can ask the nurses if they want to help, but I'm pretty sure they're all married. One of them might be in debt, though. No, I'll just do it myself. i just never done it with a cup before. You do know you're not supposed to bang the Tupperware, right? I, as long as it ends up in the cup, that's all that matters. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm just supposed to go in the bathroom and just do it off imagination? Well, yeah, I mean, I got a laptop set up in there. It's got a couple tabs open already. I highly recommend 3 minutes and 59 seconds on the first tab. Oh, tell me that's not the hottest shit you've ever seen. Oh, and in the third tab? Tell me how she fits eight basketballs in her rump. I'm a doctor and I couldn't even figure that out. Okay, it's just, this is really weird. I've never done something like this before, have you? Oh yeah, I do it all the time. I've donated three times today. You've donated? Oh yeah, every time I'm stressed out, I just go in there and make a donation. I don't know how many kids I got running around out there. Okay, I'll go do it by myself. I don't like how you keep saying by myself like you thought we offered some kind of service. I'm starting to question why you even came here. I'm gonna go do it. Okay, I did it. You didn't put the lid on it? I'm not good at screwing the lid on. Well, you can't get your wife pregnant, so you're not good at screwing anything. Hey! Wait, wait a minute. Why is it all bluish green like this? Isn't that what it's supposed to look like? No! Hold on. Wait, is it? Ew, don't do that! That is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. It is? Yes, you splooge Mountain Dew Baja Blast. No wonder you can't get your wife pregnant. Your balls are full of Baja Blast. How often do you drink it? Uh, like three to four times a day. Sweet Jesus, of course you can't get her pregnant. And that's probably why you don't have any teeth. They all rot it off. I did sample two for fun. What, his is also Baja Blast? Well, all we drink at my house is Baja Blast because we stay up late and Taco Bell's the only thing open. How are you alive? Well, what are we supposed to drink? Water. Well, water doesn't taste like Baja Blast. Well, you're going to die in five months if you keep this up. So you're telling me I can never have a kid? Well, look, the only way I can think of, in my professional medical opinion, that your wife could get pregnant is if I hid in your closet and you went into the bedroom with your wife and you turned the lights off, and before you guys started, you said, hold on, I gotta get something out of the closet, and then I very sneakily came out of the closet, I bang your wife and she thinks I'm you, and then I, when I'm done, I go back in the closet, you turn the lights on, and she thinks you got her pregnant. We're not doing that. Oh, come on, man, be cool. No. Let me bang your wife. No, there has to be another way I can get my wife pregnant. Well, there is a lame option. Artificial insemination. What is that? Well, it's where I see if I can find any sperm cells in this thing, and then I take one of those, and I take an egg from your wife, and I fertilize it. Wait, get an egg from mommy? Mommy's a chicken? <coughs> No, Jeffy, mommy's not a chicken. Every woman has eggs inside their body. Scrambled or over easy? <laughs> Scrambled when I get done with them. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do the artificial insemination. Okay, that'll be $25,000. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, closet's looking pretty good, isn't it? Well, can I donate this for money? Maybe to a Taco Bell. Come on, give me a deal. <sighs> okay, fine. You know what? Because we're friends, I'll do it for free. But really, just because I think everybody should have to experience the hell of being a father. Thank you so much. Come on, Jeffy. We have to get mommy. All right, I'll work on getting a sperm out of your Baja Blast. Oh, wait, shit. Which one of these was Marvin's? Uh, uh, ho hold on. Uh, w what is it Forrest Gump always says? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Jenny. No, no, that wasn't it. That didn't help at all. Uh, with, uh, right. Right is right. Yes, right. Yes, that's right. It's this one. Okay, doctor, we're back. So what's going on, Marvin? I'll explain it. Marvin's balls are full of Baja Blast, so we need to do an artificial insemination. Now, I was only able to find one tiny little sperm cell in there, and he is barely alive. So we don't have time to take your egg out. I just have to go right in. Oh, okay. Okay, so lay down and spread your legs. Now, this might hurt a little bit, but don't worry. I'm going to numb it first. Num, 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 num. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Marvin. Just just kidding. Unless, maybe. No. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm going to do it. Now, you're going to feel something that feels a little bit like a mustache in my tongue. <laughs> Just kidding, Marvin. Just kidding. Unless. No. Okay. All right. This time for real. So hold still. Ooh. Okay. I did it. You are now pregnant. For real? I'm so excited. For the next nine months, I'm going to take care of you. Oh, don't worry. It's not going to take nine months. No, because of all that Baja Blast, it's only going to take about a minute. A minute? Oh, yeah. All those cells are hopped up on sugar, so we should probably just hard cut to her screaming in pain. Calm down. Calm down. Doctor, can you do something for the pain? Can you numb her? Well, I mean, I can, but I'd have to take the mask off first. No, I mean like an epidural. Oh, no. It's way too late for that. She's going to have to feel all of it. Okay, now push. Ah! Harder. Ah! 
that's it. I'm putting my hand in there. Ah! Oh, that was way too easy. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's a beautiful, gigantic baby girl who's already wearing a diaper and has a bow. Oh, my God. She's so beautiful. Why does she look like Jeffy? Oh, fuck. Uh, I mean, what are you talking about? She looks just like you. No, she looks just like Jeffy. Uh, okay, well, look, here's what happened. Uh, there were two cups of Baja Blast, and I just kind of made an educated guess about which one was yours. So Jeffy got my wife pregnant? Well, technically, I got your wife pregnant with Jeffy's kid. I mean, if you think about it, we all got her pregnant. You brought her here. You know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Well, in this case, it takes a village to get your wife pregnant. Oh, hell no! There's no way we're keeping this kid! No, Marvin, I love her! Well, then you can run away and be with Jeffy! Marvin, that's sick. You crossed a line. No, this already crossed the line! You had a kid with Jeffy! That wasn't my fault! It all happened so fast! Hey, can everybody just get out of here? Because I'm starting to feel like this is kind of my fault. It is your fault! Well, I mean, look, I get over things quicker when I don't have to look at them, so I think everybody should leave, because I'm kind of freaking out right now. Okay, you know what? Well, what are we going to do with this kid? We're going to take it home and love her! Oh, no. I hate my life. Yes! Yeah, See? You're being a father already. Jeffy, meet your sister daughter. Why did you say daughter? Because, Jeffy, they used your Baja Blast instead of mine. So I got mommy pregnant and I didn't even get to do the fun part? Jeffy, they got her pregnant using a needle. Okay, I know it's small, but I'd say it's bigger than a needle. Like a Vienna sausage, cut in half. Jeffy, I don't think you understand how serious this is. You have a daughter now. What do you want to name her, Jeffy? Well, I've always liked the name Jessica, so I think I'll name her Jeffica. If you like Jessica, just name her that. I like Jeffica. Aww. I like Jeffica too. That's an ugly name. Hey, Jeffica, what doing? <laughs> okay, that's it. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm living in hell. Come on, Jeffica. Let's go outside and play. That's a good idea, Jeffy. Some father daughter brother bonding. I can't do this. I can't do this. All right, Jeffica. Sit right there, but don't eat the grass. We, we. I said don't eat the grass. My turn. <laughs> Jeffica? Where'd you go? Oh, fuck. Hey, Jeffy, where's Jeffica? Don't get mad, but the stork took her back. What? Well, we were outside eating grass, and the stork swooped down and picked her up and flew off. Oh, my God, my baby! A stork? Well, it may have been a hawk. <laughs> Well, maybe this is for the best. Marvin, go call the cops! Okay! <laughs> hey there, somebody call the cops? Oh, hey, it's you guys. How's the baby doing? A hawk took my baby! A hawk? Did you say a hawk? Yeah, a hawk. Well, where'd the hawk go? Up. Oh, yeah, that is where hawks tend to go. Can you get my baby back? Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Probably not. Well, why can't you get my baby Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. I'm sorry, that's just a tick I have every time someone says baby back. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Please don't say it again. Can you get my baby from the hawk? Well, how am I supposed to do that? I don't have fucking wings, and I don't even know where the hawk is. It might be on top of some tree somewhere pecking your baby's eyes out. Or, or maybe raising your baby as one of its own, if that comforts you. Okay, well, look, we weren't supposed to have that baby anyway. It was an abomination. Why don't we use my Baja Blast and get you pregnant for real? Oh, no, I don't think you guys are fit parents if your baby got eaten by a hawk. I think you should just be happy with what you got. Well, today was a Baja -ha 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 Blast. I gotta go make a phone call. Thank you so much, Mr. Hawk, for taking that baby. Ah, ah. Yes, I'll Apple Pay you right now. Thanks, baby. Um, mommy, why are donuts? They're good, Jeffy. Well, of course you would say nuts are good. You're a girl. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. They have nothing to do with nuts. Then why are they called donuts? What? I don't know. Are they made out of nuts? No. Are they made out of dough? Yeah, like 100% dough. Okay, so then where did the nuts come in at? Did the chef rub his nuts all over well, them? Jeffy, don't say that. No, no one rubbed their nuts on them. Well, do they look like a nut sack? No. Well, then show me. Baby, show them. Okay, Jeffy, look. Look, 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 look what they look like. Danny, that looks nothing like a nut sack. See, I told you, it has nothing to do with nut sacks. It's, it's just dough. Look, look, call, call them dough circles. Well, I think they look like big Cheerios. Well, that's what they are. They're really big Cheerios, and they're really good. You should have some. Oh, okay, Danny, I'm going to give me a Big Cheerio. Which one do I want? Um, dang, why is this Big Cheerio gold? What? 
Baby, did you order a golden donut? No, I don't know how that got in there. Why did we get a golden donut? Look, Marvin, let's watch TV. Hey there, do you like donuts? If you do, go buy a box of donuts. And if you find the golden donut, you'll win a lifetime supply of free donuts. Go buy them now. Wow, we really just won a lifetime supply of donuts. We're gonna get so fat, Marvin. Um, actually, I won the lifetime supply of donuts because I found the golden donut. But I bought them, Jeffy. But baby, don't argue. Look, we're not gonna claim that prize because that's so unhealthy. We don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. You're right, Marvin. Well, then can I go claim the prize? No, Jeffy, we don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. That's so unhealthy. <sighs> oh, man, Danny. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be in my room just eating these donuts and not going to go claim the prize for a lifetime supply of donuts and become the donut king or anything. Yep, do if you need me. I'll be in my room, Daddy. Okay, Jeffy. Hear ye, hear ye. I am the ruler of the donuts. I am the donut king. Whoa, Jeffy, how'd you get so many donuts? Well, Junior, I found this golden donut, and I won a lifetime supply of donuts, and now every time I want some, they send me hundreds of them, because I'm the donut king. Well, can I get a donut? No, Junior, I'm sorry, but if I give one to you, I'll have to give one to all the peasants. Oh, you, you just have hundreds of them, so I thought I could probably have one. Hmm. Well, how about this, Junior? If you want a donut from the king, something amazing you must bring. To trade. But to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something cool for a donut. Uh, well, can I just give you money? No, I don't want money, Junior. I want something cool. Uh, what can I trade you for a donut? Um, ooh, I know, I, I got something. How about this? It's a megaphone. It makes you talk really loud. Give me a sec. Pee pee. All right, Junior, you got yourself a trade. You may pick out one donut. Yay, I get a donut! This thing is so pee pee. Uh... I feel so sick from eating donuts. I ate way too many donuts. See, that's exactly why we weren't going to claim the lifetime of supply of donuts, because they just make you feel so awful after you eat them. Ugh. <gasps> Look, Marvin, the news! Uh. Breaking news, McKay! There's a worldwide donut shortage ever since this kid won a lifetime supply of donuts and requested that all of them be brought to his donut kingdom. <gasps> he didn't. Jeffy, we told you not to claim those donuts! Jeffy! Yes, father? We told you not to claim those donuts! Bow to the king. What? Bow to the king. I'm not bowing to you. Bow to the king. No, Jeffy. Marvin, maybe we should just bow and get it over with. I'm not bowing to him. Danny, your shoe's untied. Thanks for bowing to the king. I didn't bow to you! Mommy, your toes are untied. What? Wait, don't, don't. Thanks for bowing to the king. Oh, we did not bow to you, Jeffy. Look, we're getting rid of all these donuts. Dang, we can't get rid of my donuts because I'm the donut king and this is my donut kingdom. Jeffy, I told you not to claim those donuts. Dang, you don't get a lifetime supply of donuts and not claim them. Oh, look, Jeffy, look, we're going to get rid of all these donuts right now, okay? Please leave the kingdom. I'm not, I'm not leaving. It's not a kingdom. God! Yes, my liege. I requested that they leave the donut kingdom, and they're not leaving. Leave the donut kingdom. It's not a kingdom, it's a bed full of donuts in my house. The king wants you to leave. He's not even a king, that's a Burger King crown. Look, leave or you'll be sorry. What are you gonna do about it, dolphin boy? Okay, that's racist, and if you don't leave, I'm gonna give you a tail whooping. A, a, a dolphin tail whooping. I'm gonna whoop you with my tail, is what I'm saying. <sighs> Baby, let's just get out of here. They're a bunch of bullies! Oh, look, look, look at that on the TV, Karen, there's a donut shortage, huh? How about that? No, Brady, I don't Great. Oh, Karen, my phone's ringing. No, buddy, you gotta cuddle with me! It's cuddle time! It's cuddle time, it's answer the phone time, Karen! Get, get off of me, get answer the phone. Hello? Wait, wait really? Wait, the chief? Wait, oh my god. Okay, I'll be right over. Buddy, what's going on? It's the chief. He's dying. Oh no! Chief! Chief, what's going on? I'm dying, guy. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say that. W what's wrong? Wrong right here. Oh, Dr. Something Wong. W what is wrong? Wrong a girl. W no, I mean, what's wrong with him? Oh, he dying. He dying real fast. He donut blood sugar be going and crash. He need donut. He need donut right now. Really, sir? You need a donut? Yeah, guy. Whenever you become the chief of police, you have to have a donut every 24 hours or else you die. Oh no, but but Chief, the donuts are sold out all over the world! Ever since that damn kid had to go and win that stupid contest! Well, guy, it looks like I'm gonna die then. 
tell my wife I was cheating on her. No, no sir, you're gonna tell her that yourself because you're gonna make it. Y you really think so, guy? I know so, sir. I'm gonna get a donut. Well, you better hurry, cause the heart rate monitor video only four minutes long. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna hurry right now, I'll go. Hurry up, damn it. Marvin. What? Ever since Jeffy kicked you out of Donut Kingdom, you've been angrily eating those baked beans. Yeah, I like baked beans. When I'm stressed out, I eat baked beans. It's my new thing. Every character has a thing. My new thing is baked beans. It's a little weird. No, every character has a favorite food. Like, you know, like Woody, like shrimp, and Shrek, like cheesecake. I, I like baked beans. That, that's my thing now. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. <sighs> Hello. Oh, hey, 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 is your son who won all the donuts here? Yeah, he's upstairs in his donut kingdom. His what? His donut kingdom. Ever since he won all those donuts, he made a kingdom in his room. Uh, okay, well, I really, really need one of those donuts. Well, so does everyone in the world. They made a line outside his room. What? Really? Yeah, there's a line. So if you want a donut, just go join the line. Okay. Oh, come on, this line is ridiculous! I know, tell me about it. I've been here for 45 minutes. But 45 minutes? <laughs> Hey, 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 Pooby, hey, Pooby, let me skip you. No, come on. Hey, hey, Logan, Logan, let, let me get in front of you. No. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I can see why the movie never came out. Yeah, you guys were too busy waiting in line for donuts. Wait, is that Elena? El Elena, can I get in front of you? No. Uh, the SML crew sucks. I'm just liking all your videos. Hey, hey, Pooby, how's your bum arm? Oh, ha, ha. Okay, this sucks. I'm going to go talk to the guard. I've been in line for 30 minutes. What's taking so long? Sorry, ma'am. The Donut King is very busy. You'll just have to be patient. <sighs> okay. Coming through. Sorry, sorry. Hey, sorry. no me. skipping. Oh, come on. You play like one character. Oh, uh, I play two characters. I play your wife, Blighty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Don't even start. Hey, man, no skipping. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a cop. I'm, I'm an officer of the law. Don't you have like a donut line skip pass? No, no. You'll just have to wait in line like everybody else. What? Hey, what's that? Where? Nice try. All right, send the next one in. All right, next. Oh, me, 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 me. Hey! I said next. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I was next. Just don't ask anybody else. Okay, can I have a donut now? Bow to the king. W what? Bow to the king. Uh, oh, yes, 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 your highness. Anything for a donut. Uh, okay, can I have one? If you want a donut from the king, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something for, for a donut. Well, okay, I have cash. Can I just give you that? No, nope, I want something cool for a donut. What, oh, okay, I, look, look, man, I have a 20. How about I just give you a 20? No, you gotta trade me something cool. See, I got like this pocket bowling game. I got this megaphone. I got a flashlight and a stapler. You gotta trade me something cool if you want a donut. Okay, so just like junk? No, something cool. I don't, okay, okay, look, man. My boss is dying, okay? And he, he if he doesn't get a donut, he's gonna die, all right? So I really need a do you not have a heart? Bored. What? I don't know what to get. Uh, you can have my hat. Do you want my hat? I'll give you my hat. No, I already have a crown that says Burger King. What? Okay, well, maybe my tie? I'll give you my whole outfit. No, you gotta trade me something or else leave the kingdom. Well, I don't have anything to trade. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what to get. Just give me a damn donut. Leave the kingdom. What? No, no, I need... Leave the kingdom. No, I'm gonna take a donut. Guard! Oh, oh, don't call him. He's Guard! already pissed. Hey, what's up, your highness? Kick him out of the kingdom. Oh, good. He skipped in line anyway. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. And stay out. I don't want to see your face in the Donut Kingdom ever again. Well, well fine. I, I don't want to be in this stupid Donut Kingdom anyway. It's stupid and dumb. I, I do really need a donut, though. Where am I going to get one? Oh, oh, Karen. She's not banned. Yeah, I'll just get her. Okay, okay, Karen. Here, take this. Go, go. Boynie, I don't understand what you're trying to get me to do here. It's very simple, Karen. I just needed to take this Dig Dug machine into the Donut Kingdom and give it to the Donut King in exchange for a donut. But, Boynie, I don't understand why you don't just go to the store to get a donut! What, Karen, don't you think if it was that simple, I would have done it already? They're sold out everywhere. Haven't you seen the news? Boynie, I'm sorry that I'm not as obsessed with donuts as you are. I'm not obsessed with donuts, Karen. Hey, kitty. Oh, it's a oh, Kit Kat! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Boydie, this is crazy! Well, it's not crazy, Karen. Just go talk to the dolphin. Boyd, hey, do you understand how ridiculous this sounds? Listen to what you're telling me to do. <gasps> you need me to talk to a dolphin to get to the Donut Kingdom to trade the Dig Dug machine for a donut from the Donut King to get to the doctor to give you a dying boss on his deathbed! Yes. Can you do it? Okay, Boydie, but this just sounds crazy! Okay, here, take it, go. Oh, why is she taking so long? Hey, Boydie, I got your donut! Oh, Karen, you got the donut! Wait, wait, why is there a bite taken out of it? Oh, I got hungry on the way out. Oh, Karen, I guess, okay, I guess it doesn't matter, it's fine, but wait, wait where's your dress? Oh, uh, I really wanted to keep the ding dong machine, boy, day. <laughs> Good choice. All right, Karen, you got the donut, I can save my boss! 
He better hurry! Chief! Chief, I got the donut! Ah, oh, you're too late! He died. No! Alright, hold on, let me just restart the video. <gasps> Chief! Chief, quick, eat the donut! Oh, guy, you saved my life! I'd do anything for you, sir! Ew! Alright, Daddy. I gave away all my donuts. What, you gave away all your donuts? I sure did. So the donut kingdom is no more. What, what'd you trade for all your donuts? Well, someone traded me a Ferrari for all my donuts. A Ferrari for all your donuts? Yep. Well, you know what? I I'm glad. You don't need that many donuts anyway. Those are unhealthy. You need to eat something healthy like baked beans. Ew. What? Baby! Look what I just found! I found the golden baked bean! You know what that means? Baked beans for the rest of my life! Oh no! All hail the baked bean king! Who wants to trade me a Ferrari for all my baked beans? No. Jeffy, Jeffy, you're trying to make the circle piece go into the triangle spot. You're supposed to put it in the circle spot, like that. Ah, where did the piece go? It went inside. Get it back, get it back, get it back. Oh, look, Jeffy, look, there it is, right there, grab it. Oh, hey, Mr. Circle Piece, what are you doing? Marvin, look, a commercial. Hi, I'm Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, and I'm excited to reveal our new overpriced product, the Apple Vision Pro. It's a new VR headset, and I know what you're thinking. How is this different from the MetaQuest 3? It's Apple, so it's gonna be more expensive. But with this, you can check your text messages, read your emails, watch movies, and listen to music on the fucking moon, on Mount Everest, in Fiji. Now, I'm a billionaire. I'm worth $2 billion. I can check my text messages on Mount Everest in real life if I wanted to, anywhere in the world. But you can't, because you're a broke piece of shit. So I made this for you, so you can simulate a fraction of my life. Now, here's the fun part. How much does it cost? Well, the MetaQuest 3 goes for about $700, so how much do you think I'm gonna charge you for this piece of shit? Double? Triple? Quadruple? Oh, <laughs> you wish, buddy. This bad boy goes for a whopping, horribly egregious $4,800. And guess what? You're gonna pay it, because it's Apple, and you wanna be cool. And guess what? Next year, we're gonna release another one that's identical to this one and twice the price. So I'll see you in September for the new iPhone. It has no screen. You're gonna need this. Who would spend $4,000 on something like that? I don't understand this virtual reality stuff, Marvin. I wanna live in the now. Hey, Dan, can you help me figure out where this piece goes? Well, that's a star, so it goes in the star spot. Hey, stop it! Go to your room if this if you can't play this game without screaming. <laughs> Who's at the door? Hello? Hey Marvin, look what I spent four thousand dollars on. You actually bought the Apple Vision Pro? Of course I did. Now I get to have my bank account balance open in front of me at all times. And over there I have a video of some girl on girl action. Oh look, and in front of me there's some fuckhead who doesn't like to pay his house payment. Nope, that's not virtual reality. He's actually there. Well, listen, I'm gonna try to find a way to pay my house payment. You better pay your house payment so I can afford more stupid shit like this. Oh, listen, I, I promise I'll pay it soon. Okay, well, I'm gonna come inside and sit on top of Mount Everest. You can actually go to Mount Everest? I can go wherever I want to with these on. Well, can I try them on? You wish, poor. Now move out of my way. I got a hike to climb. Ugh. Hey, Marvin, how are you running up Mount Everest so fast? These are my stairs. Well, it's Mount Everest to me. Look, there's green boots. Who? He fucking died. Oh, oh, hurry up. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, Marvin. I made it to the top of Mount Everest. Marvin, he actually bought one of those? Yeah, and he wants me to pay him my house payment. He doesn't need your house payment if he can afford that. Hey, you! Hush! Alright, Marvin. Guess where I'm at now. The Amazon rainforest. Looking at orangutan tits and shit. What are you doing? Clapping big purple baboon ass cheeks. I think it's Tarzan's mother. Oh look, there's Tarzan now! Give me that loincloth you raised by monkeys, fuck! Oh, it's hot out here. 
All right, now I'm going to the moon. The moon? One small step for Apple, one giant waste of $4,000 for me. Well, can I please try it? No, they don't allow the poor on the moon. Where's your cardboard sign that says I'll work for food or some shit, homeless? Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hey, Dad. What do you want, son? I'm on the moon right now. Well, Dad, I just wanted to say that I want the Apple Vision Pro. Ew, I'm not paying $4,000 for you to be happy. Why not, Dad? I want it. Do you have a pair? Fuck no, I don't have a pair. I'm not on the moon or some shit with Apple Vision Pro. Well, then how the fuck are you on the moon, you dumb shit? Well, I'm friends with Jeff Bezos and shit. Elon Musk is fuck. Well, Dad, I want you to come home right now and prove to me that you don't have the Apple Vision Pro. All right, fine. I'll fly home right now from the moon. Bye. Fuck! What, what's wrong? My son wants the Apple Pros, and I'm not gonna give them to him. So I gotta leave them here. I want you to watch them, okay? Don't touch them, don't fuck with them or anything. I'll be right back. Marvin, I can't believe people waste their money on technology like that. Well, I kinda wanna try them. Marvin, no, he said you can't! I wanna see how rich people have fun. Please let me try them. Uh... Just, just one time. <sighs> This thing is heavy. What's it like? I don't see anything yet. I don't think it's on. Here, let me press this button. <gasps> you did something. <gasps> Whoa, I'm on the moon. Really, Marvin? Am I on the moon too? Uh, yeah, you are. Whoa, that's so cool. Wait, how do we breathe out here? I have no idea, but you're such a sexy astronaut. Aw, thanks, Marvin. Can you please just do me a favor? Can, can you take your shirt off? What? You just, just take your shirt off on the moon. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, Marvin. Oh, God damn it. Well, Marvin, I want to see. What's it like? It's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Marvin, I want to turn. Let me try. Oh, no, hey, give those back. I was happy. Okay, Marvin, I have them on. How do I make them work? You have to turn them on. <gasps> oh, wow. What do you see, baby? So hot. What's so hot? Uh, the island. I'm, I'm on an island in Fiji, and it's so hot. You can't feel the weather or the Apple Vision Pro. I bet it's hot, though. Oh, well, what do I look like? Uh, you, you look like you. Oh, thank God. I was worried it was making me look like some hunky man. Nope, no hunky. Just, just you, Marvin. Take your shorts off. Why do you want me to take my shorts off? Uh, I just want to see you naked on a beach, Marvin. Okay, I'll do it for you. Huge. What, what's huge? Uh, the hugest palm tree I've ever seen with the hairiest coconuts. All right, it's my turn to wear the Apple Vision Pro. Wait, Marvin, just kiss me before I take them off. Why? Because I want to kiss you on a beach in Fiji. Well, I want to wear them while I kiss you. Why, Marvin? Do I look like some hot supermodel or something? What, no, 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 baby, no. You look like you. I just, I want to kiss you while we're on the moon. Hmm, I'll bet. Oh, no, listen, what, what's it make me look like? Some hunky guy with a huge wiener? No, Marvin, you look like you. Yeah, okay, it's my turn to wear. No, Marvin, it's my turn to wear. It, Marvin, it's my turn to wear. Ooh, you broke the fantasy machine. Fantasy machine? I said what I said. Oh my god, it, it's broken into pieces. Marvin, oh, what do we do? I don't know, Goodman will be back, and this thing is worth $4,000. I can't afford that. Oh, uh, no. I'm gonna call Apple Tech Support. I'm gonna call him. All right, I'm calling Apple Tech Support. Thank you for calling Apple Tech Support. My name is Camille Habib Habab. Camille is in camel. Habib Habab is in corn on the cob. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? Well, I have an Apple Vision Pro and it's broken. Okay, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? It's in multiple pieces. Ooh, no good in multiple pieces. No, it's not good. I need you to help me fix it. All right, can I have your Apple ID? Well, it's not my Apple Vision Pro. It's my friend's. Is it stolen? No, it's not stolen. He let me borrow it. I want it fixed, please. Okay, can you give me your name? My name is Marvin. Okay, can you spell that for me, please? M. N. No, M. N. No, not N M. N M. Not N M. Just M. Just M. No, d j yeah, just M. All right, thank you for calling, Just M. What can I do for you? No, my name's not Just M. Oh, like Justin Bieber. Oh, we have Justin Bieber on the phone. No. Baby, baby, baby. My name's not Just M. It's just let's let's restart like we just met. Okay, hello. Thank you for calling Apple Tech. No. My name is Camille. With the letters. Habib, restart with the letters. It is in Gamble, just M. Habib, the letter Habib, M. Habib, Cam on the car. What can I do for you today? M. M? Yes, M A. A. 
R. R. V. B. No, V. B. Marvin. Marvin. No, not Marvin. Can I speak to an American? I want to speak to someone from America, please. All right, hold on one second. I got to patch in my supervisor. His name is Bob. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bob. I am from the Utah. You're not from Utah. I am very much from the Utah. Now, how may I be of helping for you today? I want to speak to an American that can listen. My friend, my friend, my friend, I am the very good, best American <sighs> you will ever hear in your entire life. So tell me, my friend, what is wrong? Okay, listen, I have an Apple Vision Pro and it's broken. Oh, that's not very good. No, can it's I, not. Can I have your name, please, sir? It's Marvin. Oh, Martin. No, Marvin! Martin. No, Marvin, I'll spell it. M. N. M. N. M. Just M. Oh, just M? No, no j j yes, just the letter M. Okay, so just M, like Justin Bieber! Justin Bieber! No, Justin no, Bieber! No, 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 not Justin Bieber! Baby, 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 baby. I'm gonna kill myself. Listen, I'm gonna just call a local person that can fix it. Hey there, somebody call a plumber? Yeah, you fix things, right? Well, I fix plumbing, like leaky sinks and stinky shits. I actually used to have a business card that said that, but then people kept calling me up wanting me to shit on them. I actually did it one time, because I really needed the money. You, you don't want me to shit on you, do you? No, no, no! Oh, good, good, because I mean, I, I do it. I, I do still really need the money. I actually have an appointment to do that right after this. It's actually easier than fixing a sink, and people do usually pay me more money for it. Well, no, we don't need you to do that. Okay, that's good. Just, you know, let me know if you change your mind. No, I need you to help me fix this Apple Vision Pro. I don't fix Apple products. I just offered to shit on you for money. What part of that made you think I was smart? Listen, this thing is worth $4,000. Oh, really? And the owner, if he comes back and sees that it's broken, he might hit me. Okay, well, I guess I can take a look at it. I think this part probably just snaps right onto this, right? Oh, okay, and then... I just put this right there. Oh, that was easy. Well, you fixed it, thank God! What is this stupid dumb thing anyway? It's like a virtual reality goggles. Ugh, I don't understand kids these days with the TV on your face. You know, when I was a kid, my dad always used to tell me if I sat too close to the TV, I'd go blind. And now they sell it so you can strap it straight to your face. What happened to Pac-Man and Qbert? Can I try it out? Yeah, you can try it. This thing's probably just dumb anyway. Stupid. Whoa, this is sick! Where are you? I'm in like Fiji or something. Oh, damn. Damn! Double damn! Double damn 2000! Nickelodeon double damn! Wait, well, what do I look like? You're, you're like a hot girl. I'm a hot girl. Oh, yeah, and your wife's hot, too. Oh, thank you! Okay, it's time for you to take them off. Hey, can you do me a favor and kiss your wife? Like, maybe make out? Wh why? Because for me, it'll look really nice. Okay, no, you're, you're taking those off. No, come on, man. Oh, man, come on! I was having so much fun! It's my turn to wear them. Hey, no, I no, I want to wear them. No, I, my turn. Oh, okay, okay, wait, calm down. I don't want to risk breaking them again. No one wears them. Man, I need a pair of those. They're $4,000. Oh, really? You know how many people I'm going to have to shit on to be able to afford that? Like, four. They pay me very well. Well, go charge them for that, then. A actually, you know what? I'm charging you $4,000 for fixing that. All you did was snap the pieces back on. Yeah, that's true. So get out of here. Yeah, the x lax is kicking in. I have to go shit on a Filipino man. Can I please borrow those so I can pretend I'm in Hawaii while I do it? No, leave! <sighs> you guys are lame. All right, no one touches them. Goodman will be back soon. Dad, what the hell is that? Well, that's not my Apple Vision Pro, it's Marvin's. Right, Marvin? What? It's your Apple Vision Pro, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my Apple Vision Pro. Well, how does this poor piece of shit afford one and we can't? Well, I don't know. He doesn't even make his house payment. Maybe he saves up all his house payment money and bought the Apple Vision Pro. Well, that's not fair. I want one right now. Well, maybe if you're good, for Christmas you can get one. No, fuck that. I don't want to wait till Christmas. Christmas is 10 fucking months away. I want it now. Well, maybe Easter Bunny. No, fuck the Easter Bunny. I don't want something that comes out of his ass. What about for President's Day? Well, are you a fucking president? No. All right, then. So get your Andrew Jackson looking ass in the car. All right, Dad. But if I find out that's yours, spank it. Okay. Thanks for covering for me, Marvin. For, for doing that, you don't owe a house payment this month. But I am going to have to leave it here for a few days so Richard doesn't find out about it. Okay, th thank you so much. Oh my god, we don't owe a house payment this month. That helps us so much. That helps so much. And that's nice that he's leaving it here for a couple days. Yeah, but I don't think we should touch it because I don't want to risk breaking it. I agree, Marvin. I want to use it! No, I want to see the hot girl! <laughs>